starting. Recording has started. So, where we left off, the adventurers had made their way to Canby. And, <clears throat> um, after making their way through the town, uh, talking to the locals, getting the lay of the land, um, finding a um, a adventure or adventure guide, I should say, through the Evercrest Mountains. You did locate an older one, um, Margaret, to be exact, who made it very clear that she was not um, that she no longer did any kind of guiding. She no longer did any kind of. Um, <clears throat> any kind of adventuring or any 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 guidance of any sort. Um, she made it clear that uh, there was somebody else in town that the adventurers could um, procure if they were lucky enough. Um, how was that? Oh. Um, and after some persuading, some talking, the adventurers made their way back to the inn that they originally had set up to sleep for the night and <clears throat> they ran into uh, they didn't run into, he ran into them uh, Thane a guide that had been uh, the word I'm looking for had been suggested by Bobo and <clears throat> um, the party being very tentative uh, tried to talk to Thane in a number of ways. One by uh, uh, kind of a man-to-man -man type talk, which seemed to infuriate Thane as he was in the midst of being provocative with the two young ladies he had brought with him. Um, the other attempt was made by Freya who actually ended up getting pulled into his uh, sexual seduction of sorts. Um, <clears throat> infuriating Morn, he lashed out at Thane to find out that Thane was very capable of handling himself. Um, Thane, stepping in front of all of this, managed to get, uh, or not Thane, Kalen, managed to get Thane calmed down enough to have Um, managed to get uh, a civil conversation going of some sorts, uh, <clears throat> talking about guiding him to certain places. Thane was more than happy to guide the party um, until Morn dropped the name of Jupiter, which in f kind of triggered Thane to a certain extent and actually... Um, sent him into more of a guarded status instead of this womanizing, carefree looking attitude that he had. Um, he invited the party back to his residence to talk things out, um, where they had all laid down to, basically he had left the party alone to do whatever they wanted for the night and said that he would talk with them come morning. Um, <clears throat> The party, I believe, had been left alone to their own devices and had made their way into each one of their bedrooms. Um, and I think that's where the party left off. Where was, um, where was I this whole time? You were, just <laughs> with, you, were, you were just with the party. Okay. Yep. We didn't leave you behind. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. Like, hey, have you guys seen Ping in a while? Yeah. Don't forget, we definitely <laughs> tapped into all of his expensive wine. <laughs> and had a good taste. All right. Mm. So we. <clears throat> so we're all in our rooms. And right. is it is it the next morning or are we effectively 
starting in our rooms. It depends. Do you guys want it to be the next morning, or are you guys doing anything that night? <laughs> ah, shit. Well, that's where we played with the wine and stuff, and I think... Mm -hmm. I can't remember. I'm checking back really quick. Are we are we at the inn or at his house? No, we're at you his are, at his place. At his house. Yes. All right. I'm listening oh, to the very end of the stream. Nope, you guys had been led to your rooms, and you guys were in in the like in your your separate bedrooms. Who who led us to our room? The little butler. Oh, the little goblin guy. That's the right. The goblin. I forgot about him. I don't think he had a name. We don't know it yet. <laughs> so, we, so we all snuck out and, and, and drank his wine. And, uh, yeah, that was before we were led to our rooms. We were kind of uh, like, look at all this expensive wine. and <laughs> Yeah, had some. And then we were led to our room. I'm listening to He won't wine. notice that we drank any. We put it all. We put the bottles back up. Yeah, we wall. put it all back. He won't notice the thing. <laughs> it might taste a little diluted, but whatever. I think the very end of the stream. I just can't remember. Or I guess we could just start from there. I think we just went to bed, yeah. <laughs> What the hell is that? Is that the dog again? I believe so. Is yeah. that a stream dreamer? There's, there's two of them. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Alright, so without listening back to the stream, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we ended on that note where we were heading back to our room. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that before all the accosting occurred, she had already had several shots, and then we had wine, and let's say it was just headed straight to a room that I was led to and PTFO'd. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Followed. I would have gone straight to bed as well. Yeah. Oh, shit. He rolled the dice, you guys. We did, something a, we did something wrong. We did something wrong. A roll for restfulness? Yes, yes, of course. Of course. You have 20. You're super restful. Um. It's about to go down. Are you... You're, you're in male form, correct, Kaz? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Is in trouble. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You went through the wrong doors. <laughs> you said. What's your passer perception, Freya? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm just asking. It's really fucking high. You can't, you can't beat it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my passive perception is 16. Okay. Oh shit. It is high. Hmm? Okay. It doesn't mean you can't beat it, but it's really high. <laughs> it's high enough that I can't be taken off guard. So you think? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I have a feat. Alert. You, when you're awake, you're not awake. Ah oh, shit. Never mind, okay. You are sleeping. Mm hmm. Oh. So. No, that's. So, <clears throat> the night goes by. You you all you all get a very good night's rest. You are in comfortable beds. You are they're very thick comforters, thick blankets. It's very very warm. Each one of your rooms actually even has a uh, a separate fireplace that has been stocked and is 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 working. And it's very it's very warm in each one of your bedrooms. Should have slept on the mattress. <laughs> And you guys, yeah, you guys get a very good night's rest. The morning comes to you. Yeah. 
I'll get up fairly early and wander down to that main room and just kind of sit on the couch. Okay. You make your way downstairs, and the entire table in the dining room is set with food. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the table instead. Okay. Yep. And there's, I mean, there's pretty much anything you want. There's beer, wine, um, the mess that you guys had made, all the corked bottles. All those bottles have been taken down, and new bottles have been put up full. Bullshit. Just how I rem- it looks just like I remember. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. like the, when you guys first came in, it's exactly how it was set up, except gotcha. for now the, the, the dining room table is fully set with food. Pretty much anything you could ask for. There's vegetarian, um, any, any, any and all meats you could ask for. Uh, beer and wine is uncorked and set on the table. I'll I'll come down and see that the the wine is full. I'm thinking that we like put them back. I'll kind of like wink it more and be like, "We did pretty good." I'll never know. <laughs> I'll start eating some bacon, sausage, and some beer. Okay. Breakfast um, and champion. As you go to reach up and grab food. A tiny hand slaps your big hand. <laughs> ah, come on, what? Yeah, and you look you look over, and the tiny goblin is, is sitting, not sitting next to you, but he's crawled on the chair, like on the chair next to you, and has slapped your hand, and now put his hands behind his back. I'll be like, my friends won't mind. I'm going to try to eat again. Slap. <laughs> And then he takes his hand and gestures towards the end of the table. One of the chairs is completely different from all the other chairs. It is gold encrusted, and it almost looks like a little throne chair. And he points towards it again. I'm going to get up and start walking toward the chair. He gets down off of his chair and goes (laughs) to cut you off. And point yeah. back towards the chair that you were walking from. Then I'm going to quickly, like, take a bunch of food in my hand off the table and then go sit on the couch. <laughs> okay. Make a... No, no, because you're way bigger than he is. So, yeah. So he tries to stop you um, and tries to, like, slap your hand slash, like, like grab your, like, your your uh, your calves and stuff to try and, like, you know, like shuffle you away from the table. But he doesn't... You, 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 yeah, you can imagine how well that goes. Yeah, I'm going to take my food and just quietly sit on the couch, kind of okay. ignoring the goblin. And he just stands in front of you, just like mean, mean mugging you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my food. And he just he just stands there and just... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> About five minutes later, you, you hear... You hear um, Thane walking down the stairs like not like triumphantly but he's just like really making a show of waking up like oh yes oh yes mm, yes and he is um, full kimono type like robe that goes down below his knees wrapped together very fruit uh, like frillies and everything it's got like the like the it's not pink like you know like the pink boa that goes around the neck it's like attached to the kimono and it like wraps around his neck and he has it like all pulled in and he walks in good morning and like just takes his like left towards the dining room and goes to sit down at the head of the table okay I'm gonna quickly stuff whatever food I still have into my mouth (laughs) and walk toward the table and sit down next to him bless you so as you do that the you the the goblin run towards him and like pulls on his kimono what do you want what what what? yes it's fine he's a guest just ignore him go about your work do not throw a fit just go clean up some more i told you again don't bother the guests You can see him, he dishes up his plates. Uh, are the rest of your friends going to join us anytime soon so that we may discuss, or should you and me start eating before anybody else joins us? Yeah, they'll be done eventually. I'm gonna eat. 
Sounds good. Dish yourself up. And he just reaches in, grabs like a little bit of everything, kind of what you did, but it's very like, um, like when you grab food, you just kind of grab food and you put it on the plate. When he grabs food, everything is meticulously put on the plate and perfectly spaced apart. And then he takes his little wine glass and holds it at an angle, pours his wine in and swishes it and takes, starts taking his couple sips and sits it down. Yeah, I'll, I'll just wait for them to come down. Your loss, my gain. <laughs> and just continues to, like, pick at his food very slowly, but he's eating. I'd imagine I wake up by now. Okay. Yeah. I'll wake up too, except when I come outside the room, I'm going to look around and be like, where the fuck am I? And then just be really confused and wander around the hall trying to figure out how I'm to get not... back to the main room. Okay, well, there's only a left or a right. A right takes you towards the end of the hall and, um, and like those two large doors, and then to your left brings you probably like 50 feet, and then you go down the set of stairs. Okay, I actually would have, I'd imagine I'd go that way anyway then. Yeah, because you can you can hear like you can hear like the tinking of like glassware and knives and forks on plates. Okay, I'm gonna follow my ears then. Okay. Find my way to the table. Yeah. And take a a seat. I'm not gonna look at Thane. Okay. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please, do dish yourselves up and help yourselves to whatever you would like. I've already heard that you guys have had a healthy dose of alcohol last night, so you're welcome. I'm going to just stare at my face. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we are missing one, two more. I believe you had a very smart man that I enjoyed talking to. And there was another gentleman of yours as well. Skinny I'm guessing Kalen's probably, he'll be done after his morning prayers. It takes him a while sometimes. Mm, fair enough. I'll come down. I'll, I'll come down and just start eating without saying it to anyone. <laughs> hey, Kalen! I'll just yell loudly. That was, that was Kaz that walked in. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I know. Kalen's up in his room praying, just like. The fuck? Oh well, as soon as as soon as he said that, like, I, I thought I heard him say that he's not. Nah, I mean, they do have two distinctive voices. But <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe Kaz had taken Kalen's shape. <gasps> yeah, it could be. <laughs> sure anyway, right. with that in mind, I'll wake up as well, <laughs> do my morning routine, and then I'll head downstairs. Hey, Kaz. <laughs> Okay, so Kaz joins the table. Um, like 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, Kalen kind of makes his way down um, as well after morning, morning prayers. They, everybody's pretty much done eating by that point. I think Thane is just kind of... Um, um, everything, you know... People are just sipping on drinks at this point by the time you make your way down, Kalen. So. Sure. Good morning. So, now that we've all made our way to my humble abode and uh, you know, being as tired as we were last night, there are a couple things I would like to discuss. If you guys are willing to listen. Sure. Perfect. So, first things first. After our discussion today, you will all take baths. You smell horrendous and you've stained all of my sheets in my beds especially the big man you stink f something foul hmm. the bath is at the end of the hall my little uh, butler here will show you but first things first this was not answered last night you're going to Jupiter why 
And I don't want lies. I do not want beating around the bush. I do not want... Anything beyond the open truth. If I sense anything else beyond that, let's just say I've made this house very difficult to leave. Was that We've a threat? That too. It's not a threat yet. I'm trying to be friendly. That was a threat. You're telling us that we have to give you information or we can't leave. It's not information. Think of it as a sensitive topic. I've heard the I best don't... hope in fighting against the goblins and orcs to the north is in Duper. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I've heard about whatever the hell is going on over there. That's not my, my question. So you're going there to try and enlist them to help you fight that? Yes. Hmm. Because we don't have anybody else to trust. Interesting. Uh, and a side note, this is totally off, off character. Did you guys show the pendant to him? I don't think uh, we did. Yeah, I believe we did. Uh, yeah, we pretty did. Sure with Freya showed no, 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 no. No, I showed um, Joanna the pendant. I have not shown him the pendant. Joanna. No, Joanna gave you a... Uh, she jo wait, 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 wait. She yeah. gave you the pendant. I'm pretty oh, sure we Oh, you're right, that. we did. I you're right, you did. okay. I think you yes. did, like, kind of on the down low yep. at the bar. Okay. Yes. And, okay, and, okay. and he gave it back and said, don't ever show it to other yeah, people. That's yeah, that's right, yes. that's right. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, so, um... I don't think you're going to find what you're looking for there. For that particular thing. Second, it is a sore topic for me because of who they are. Think of it as I'm protective parent. I want to know your true intentions and I will give you as much information as I feel You've earned. What do you know about there? What do you think you're going to find there? And I believe I've already got the last question. Is you're you're, you're looking to recruit them? I'm gonna look so at Freya and be like, "Can I tell them? Can I tell them?" Sure. Sounds like we need to either way, if we plan on having his help. The orcs have our friends. Elaborate. Elaborate. I don't understand your friends. They have them. They captured them. They killed them. They ate them. Took them as slaves. They took them as slaves. They have a. They opened a portal, rushed them through. We were man. We managed to catch a glimpse through the portal. It was snowy, mountainous. We know it's the we know it's the Evercrest Mountains. Our friends are there. We were hoping people in Jupiter were the best lead we had. So they yeah. opened a portal to are you from one of the northern towns? I'm from near Vet. Way in the south. That is quite a way away. We've come a long ways. Yes, yes you have. Has this portal been dealt with? The best portal we knew how. Closed. We're not magicians, but we destroyed it the best we could. We uh, we we cross out the runes and destroyed some of the stones. It would they could rebuild it, but it would. Yes, that's 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 not much. You've only delayed them a couple of weeks. Uh, it's it's nothing. That's nothing permanent. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it was the best we could muster at the time. Interesting. And it was our understanding that our best chance of finding a group of individuals that we could trust with ourselves uh, to fight against them would be in Jupiter. We, we want to find someone who knows about things like the portal that can help us prevent them from making more, taking more slaves. 
So, other than the brooch that you were given, what makes you think they will trust you going there with one, two, three, four humans and an elven girl? You're not, not exactly that. the best group to cross that border. I mean, we don't know that, but we don't have anywhere else to go that's safe from the Obsidian Eye anyway. If we think. continue to operate down here, we will be swarmed by orcs and killed or made into slaves or sold to the Obsidian Eye. And we're hoping hoping that mm -hmm. given the circumstances, the Obsidian Eye. My, my being an elf would hopefully show that they could trust me, and obviously if I trust my group, maybe. We know that the people there are are helping gifted children. We We've provided some help along the way. We could continue to do that to make ends with them. Yes. Hmm. Well, if you don't mind, I am going to do something that will give me the results that I want. It won't harm you. It won't make you do anything with your bodies. It is merely something to get what I need. To make sure that I can trust you. Are you willing? If you are not, then we need to discuss how you will leave this house. Can you I'll give us more detail? I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, no, no, no. This is not a one-person thing. It is a group thing or nothing at all. But what is the thing? You haven't told us much. Yes, what thing? Shent, come here. Now. The goblin comes around the corner. My little butler here knows a spell that will make all of you tell me what I want to hear without lying to me. So like truth serum, but a spell. Something to that effect. A little stronger. We've already told you everything, so I don't see why that would hurt to do that. As he says that, I'm just gonna clap my hands and I'm gonna cast a zone of truth on him. <laughs> You're not the only one who knows how to do that. Okay. What, what's, what's the range? Like, what's the. I guess area of effect for Zone of Truth. How how big is? It? Would it hit all of us? Yeah. I would have put it far back enough so that only the like the outer rim touches him. Okay. 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 So I mean, I say, gets, so Kaylin does it to all of us. He gets he gets what he wants, and we're all, we're all affected. Okay. But because we're gonna have to do it, we're gonna have to do it ourselves anyway. So you might as well cast it to where it can hit everybody. Oh shit. It was right on this. I knocked it over. Can you see it? Natural 20. I mean, <laughs> I believe he's being truthful. I just wanted to demonstrate. Correct. So, as you, as you say that, he immediately snarks, smiles at you, and goes, <clears throat> that wasn't very nice. But, I understand. So, shan't cast it. And at that moment the little goblin takes two steps forward and you all feel a wave wash over you. So make a charisma saving throw. If you choose to resist it. Yeah, I it, shall choose to willingly fail. Do, does If we resist, does he know? Yeah. Yep, he knows who fails and who succeeds. I'm not going to resist. Okay. I won't either. I'm good. I won't lose it. Okay. I, I, I want to roll just so that I'll know if I 
to resist if I would have passed or not. <laughs> just, just for your own, not your own well-being? Oh, yeah. not 20, Kaz. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay. Oh baby, yeah, that would have that would have done it. I wasted a twenty. Mm. He sits back in his seat, and one after one, he leans in, and you can see the goblin reach up with his hand and points at each one of you, taps him on the wrist, points to Kaz, taps him on the wrist, points to Freya, and so on down the line. You're assuming he's basically saying, yes, 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 yes. Yes. <clears throat> Very good. Big man. Do you like me? No. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. It's working. <laughs> what are your intentions and goals for Yubita? Rescuing my sister. Very good. I do not believe I got your name, Skinny Man. What is your name? You look at me, Kaz. It... Oh, <laughs> forgot I can't lie. It's Kaz. Ah. <laughs> In the spirit of truth, I wanted to lie to you and tell you that it was Rock Johnson, but it's not. It's Kaz. <laughs> I appreciate that. There is something off about you, and I can't put my thumb on it. Tell me what. I so I, I don't know what he thinks is off about me so I correct don't to... so take that question how you would think he did not word it correctly there's a lot off with me I was an orphan I've stolen from people I've made poor life decisions what are your intentions and goals for Jupiter I, I want to find people that can help us with the invading orcs army maybe and, and I want to find my people I, I want to learn about my people interesting I might have a discussion with you later turns and looks at Freya what are your intentions and the goal for Jupiter? To find people that we can trust that will help us fight the invading army and save the people that were taken, or rescue the people that were taken and enslaved. Interesting. Turns to Pink. I don't have your name either. So, what is your name? It's Ping. What are your intentions and goals for Yupta? Uh, my intentions are to help my friends here achieve their goals and along the way maybe find and avenge my brother's killers. Interesting. Mr. Kalen, what are your intentions and goals for Yupta? First and foremost, all I wish to do is help my companions succeed in all their goals. And second most, and I'll look around the room, I'm trying to find my lost master up north. Hmm. So you're not lying to me. You tell me the truth. You all seem good intentioned wise. So I will ask no more questions. Mm -hmm. And you feel the like the influence wash away from you. So, on that note, I will give you a couple tidbits of information before we take off for these mountains. One, I will leave your asses in the dust if I feel that we are in imminent death danger. Mutual. <laughs> the Evercrest Mountains, even for someone as skilled as me, is an incredibly dangerous place. There are things there over the last decade or two that have mutated, become wrong. There are creatures that 
or talked about myths that have made their way to the surface again. Some creatures I've never even heard of before. I assume you're referring to the rock? That's one of them. There's other creatures and mutations between certain animals that have merged together. Uh, there's people closer to Dahl uh, that, that say they've, they've seen a dragon flying along the, the ocean close to the mountains. Whether this is truth or not, I do not know. What kind of dragon? Uh, I believe they said they saw two. One of white and one of green. Have you ever seen one? No. Do I wish to see one? No. How many times have you made past the Evercrest Mountain? Six times. Hmm. Let's just put it this way. I used to be a scout for Fort Thromgard. I used to scout what is north, and I used to find new entrances, new trails, and anything else that might be useful to a military. I have seen a lot. I've seen a lot of things in there that I don't wish to see again. I've lost companions, and I retired, per se. I led two expeditions of explorers and adventurers into those mountains, and I am the only one to have returned. Not because I chose to, but because things happen. It is no exact science, those mountains. They say the Evercrest Mountains used to be dwarven. That the dwarves built tunnels through those mountains and they shift. I have seen this on occasion. You might be following one trail for miles only to have it disappear right before your very eyes. Second and foremost, I will only give you a name. The rest is for you to divulge out, and only because you've shown me a pendant will I give you these names. You are going to meet the Justice's Boon. Justice's Boon? Yes. Justice, and then Boon. B-O-O-N. The lady that you met, the white one, her name, and do not speak this in public anywhere, for you will lose your head upon the moment that you say it, and not from me. I am not threatening you. Elena Pence Dragon. So, the Justice Boon is where we're, the group that we're looking for in Jupiter? The lady that you met was the white one. Correct. And she is Elena Pensdragon. She is part of the group. She is part of the group that, yes. Uh, they're they, they're an organization of sorts. Got it. So, on that note, I have prepared all of our camping supplies that is needed. This is the three day trip to the mountains, and then from there. We will take two or three paths that I know. Whether they still exist, I don't know. But 
We'll figure it out as we go. So we procured three horses. Mm -hmm. Are they going to be useful? So that will cut the time in half. Do you have your own horse? Mm, I do, but I won't be bringing it. I guess that means somebody's going to be buddying up with Morn. You're not going to have Bergen to yourself anymore. Bergen's mine. <laughs> so, I will say this. Two things. One, we can bring the horses if you want. But I don't believe that they will be able to traverse the Evercrest Mountains. Maybe. But at some point, you might have to leave them. May. Uh, two, when we get to our destination, if we make it, I cannot guarantee your safety. You will be newcomers to a new place. And you will be immediately taken into custody, per se. I think that's to be expected. Understandable so. Well, on that note, uh, I have three bathrooms. They are all prepared for you. Uh, please bathe, clean yourselves, and I set out uh, fresh, new winter clothing. While we wash and dry your sets. We appreciate your hospitality. You're welcome. And your friend of Bobo's is a friend of mine. I do apologize for last night. When I've had a couple, you know, burgundies, I get a little antsy in my pantsy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> did we, did and we Bobo? Yeah, we told him about Bobo. Oh. This is the only reason you didn't cut your heads off. We had reason to trust him at that point when we told him. Okay. I'll sit up and I'll start heading towards one of the bathrooms. Okay. I'm gonna like run in front of Kaylin and race up the stairs first. Well, the baths are downstairs. Oh, damn it. Sounds like they're at the end I'm of already, the hall. I'm already running to the bath. Yep. So there's there's a, there's <laughs> stairs to head up. And then there's like an upper level, like a like almost like dormitory style. And then there's if you walk like as the stairs are off to the side, underneath the stairs there's another hallway that leads down, and there's three large doors. When I realize that I went the wrong way, I'm gonna take off in the correct direction and shove Ping out of the way. Nope, nope, I'm ready. <laughs> I, I would say if Ping went the right way, yeah, he he probably beat you to one of the bathrooms. But he wouldn't have been in a hurry because I wasn't even going that way. No. <laughs> So there's there's three there's three rooms. There's one Oh there's the very, three. There's yes. three. Never mind. There's one at the very far end, which is kind uh -huh. of a, a larger bath. It looks like it'll suit probably like five or six people. And then the one to the left is kind of like a doubles type one. It's a little bit larger and the one to the right is a singles. I'm gonna shout, Ping, don't you dare. Oh. <laughs> what what room are you going in, Ping? I don't there. know. I'm, gonna, I'm running to the first one I see. So the one on the the first one on the <laughs> right is a single. The one on the left is a double, and the one in the back is like for a group. And since you're getting there first, which one did you take, or which which direction did you go? Um. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> I just I just assumed I was running. To, I don't know. I'll just take one of the single ones. I don't know. <clears throat> I didn't even know there was more than one. I would have just ran to the. Yeah, there was there were three rooms, so it 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 doesn't matter. You could just like if you want, just like flip a coin, and take whatever room, left, front, or right, or left, straight, or right. I don't know. Okay. What? I'm just gonna go to the left then. The the left, I think that was the double one. Yes. What? 
while they're going, can I find Thane and try and talk to him? Yep. So he has stood up and is in the kitchen, um, staring at his his bottles, like all the like the the wines and the beers and everything. And you can see him counting, and he looks frustrated, like something is off, but he can't put his finger on it. And he's just like mm -hmm. Burgundy, and that was supposed to be a Moscato, and that was supposed to be. What were you supposed to be? It's a nice collection. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I travel. I travel quite often, and I, I, I like a little bit of everything. So, whenever I'm in a new town and they have a different wine that they make, I usually pick one up. But nothing seems off. But I can't put my fi uh, no matter what. Uh, can I help you? you? You're an acquaintance of of Bobo. Are you um? Are are you a magic user mm. yourself? Let's just put it this way. Not in the way that Mo that Bobo is. I'm a little darker with my arts. I I learned some uh some runes if we ever had to travel back to, to meet him. But I, I don't I, I don't know a spell that can take us there. Is that something that you could maybe teach me? Interesting. So you're looking to do a, uh, a teleportion, a te teleportation. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> I, I do not. I will say this, though. And he kind of grabs your hand and, like, leads you towards a back room. And it's, um, when you come around, like, all those doors have been, like, gold trimmed and very, very nice and... You walk around the corner of the kitchen and down it looks like a small hallway. And as you are walking, um, you notice that it goes from like a really pretty, like gold trimmed, like doorways and, 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 and like a bunch of other stuff to like magical runic symbols and like, uh, from what you can tell, they're like, they're, they're magical wards. And <clears throat> towards the back of the room, he walks up to the door, and he kind of looks back at you and goes, "Please turn around for one second." Okay. And you can hear you can hear something, and all of a sudden you you can hear this, and these doors open in the back. Okay, please follow me. He takes you into another room, and the moment you walk through the room, the first thing you notice is um, a circular dome like a circular type of room and the familiar teleportation signal on the floor. So Bobo put this in here uh, a while back. He's never used it and I've never figured out how to use it uh, to go anywhere, but uh, you know, it's here in case you would like to use it. Can, can I, I guess do an Arcana check to see if I would know how to do it. You you were able to at Bobo's. It just takes you a while to write it down and then kind of like memorize the runic symbols. So it'll take you like the better part of like 20 minutes. And and then now, and these are symbols that will go to his house, to this location that we're in now. Correct. So you'll have the one for Bobo's oh. um, magical like house type uh -huh. deal. And then you will now have one for basically the outer rims of Canby. Okay. Thane's back room. Mm. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll study those while the others are bathing, I guess. And then I'll, and then I'll go bathe myself mm. once I feel like I've got it. So, uh, when you are done, you just walk back and touch the door once, and it'll close itself. I'm sorry that I'm not able to, to help you with the teleportation sigil. Um, there, where you are going, there, there will be people that can help you with that. Thank you. You're welcome. And now, I'm going to go bathe myself before we leave. 
So, anybody doing anything in this time period? I'm going to assume I'm taking a bath. And... Okay. <laughs> yeah, after we talked in the kitchen, I'm going to walk over to the clothes that he put out. And then I'm going to take them and start walking toward the stairs to go up to my bedroom. They're all in your bedrooms. They're just laid on the beds that you guys. Oh, on. perfect. Then I'm gonna start changing into those. Yep, and they're and they're very, very like um expensive, like very nice, thick like furs and leathers and like it looks like he already he he must have had his butler go out and have these made because they're actually already tailored to your body style and your tastes. So like Morn is more of a hide fur you know thick kind of guy. These are that, whereas the girls have more of the long, um, well, it actually would just be Freya, but it's but almost it's like a longer like coach like type deal with thick with like fur inlined, so it's like it's like flipped out, but it's all fur in here, and a nice big hood, and um, Ping and Kaylin have these large coats slash leathers, so they're, it's all very 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 nice. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna gather up everyone's clothes and bring it down to the the baths. Okay. I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna try to figure out where like people are and then like throw my like you know like you kind of briefly open the door and then throw the clothes in. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Freya, as you are as you're taking your bath. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. You felt this the night like last night, but you were you just thought it was a dream. But now you're awake. And for some reason I don't know. It's just you have this like creepy feeling like somebody's watching you. Uh -oh. I'm gonna like look over my shoulder. You gotta look around the bag. room. And what? You're just looking around the room? I mean, yeah, I'm gonna, like, look over my shoulder and look around the room, like, what the fuck is that? Or, like, who's somebody look in here? Somebody watching? Okay. So, because you rolled so low, um, and your passive perception's pretty high, so you're, like, in the bath, and you're, like, you're butt naked, and you're, like, you're washing, doing your whole thing, and you're just kind of like, what the fuck? And you kind of start doing that, like, you know, like, where you're, like, washing and you don't really care to all of a sudden you're kind of, like, covering things <laughs> and, like, looking around. And you're just scanning the whole room. And it, it's a very nice, intricate room. It has pictures. It has plants in some of the corners. It's, it's a very nice room. And you're, you're like, looking around, and there's, there's a painting of... <clears throat> there's a painting of, like, a, a knight on a horse, like, with his javelin out, stabbing a dragon... And then there's like another one of like a princess walking along a cliff, and the moon's in the like in the distance, and uh, the ocean's like laid out before it. And then there's another one of like um, what, what picture frame is that? Like the Da Vinci one where they're like laying on their back and they're like touching fingers. <laughs> Except for it's like an intricate it's an intricate painting of of Thane. It looks exactly like Thane, and he's reaching out. <laughs> Butt ass naked with like this dong hanging off of the cloud, and it's like him touching himself. <laughs> He's like reaching out to touch his like other attractive self, and you're like looking at it, and you're like, Jesus God, you are <laughs> just like, you're so self absorbed. And then the longer you look at it, the eyes blink on one of the other ones, and you're like, What? And the eyes blink one more time. <laughs> <laughs> and then the eyes go wide and you can see like a little like shutter go down over the eyes <laughs> oh. I'm gonna like sink down in the water and just keep my eyes on that painting and just <laughs> like kind of hold myself They don't. They don't move again for the entire rest of your bath. Yeah, I'm gonna be like very cautiously, like do that thing where you reach for the towel and you're like, pretty much putting the towel in the water and then you just kind of like really fast run out and you're like quickly wrapping it around and you're like 
uh, staring at the painting at the same time. And I'm just going to grab the clothes and leave the room and go to my room. <laughs> With the towel, sorry. There's a towel, but I'm also grabbing the clothes and leaving the room. So I don't feel that. Uh, there towels in each one. There's like giant robes in each, one okay. of the in each one of the bathrooms. So I would have put the robe on then and just been like, fuck this, I'm not changing in here. And I'm going to scurry through the house and go to the room. Okay. And as you're doing that, Thane is walking... Thane is walking down the hallway from his bedroom. I'm going to scoff and call him a pervert as I'm huddling up there, running up the, <laughs> running up the stairs. Excuse me? You heard me. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. And just like walks down the hallway, like 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 genuinely confused. It was his freaking painting. I don't know any better. I, I met this guy last night. I, I know I know him. I know him well enough. So even if that wasn't him, she's obviously out of character. I obviously think she's obviously gonna think it was him. Okay. It's probably by this point it's about eight thirty nine in the morning. And he's he's gathered he's he's already standing by the front door, like making his way outside, and he has like a pack on and some provisions and Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna hurry up and finish my bath and get dressed and head out. Who's in the third bathroom? I was in the one straight ahead, I don't know. I would assume it'd either be Kaylin and Kaz, whoever decided to go first and then last. So my bath is open then, because I would have already left it. Yes. Yeah, I'll take a bath, I guess. Okay. So the better part of like the half hour, 45 minutes goes by, you've all bathed, cleaned up, done whatever you needed to do. Provisions uh, have been brought to you. There's like a backpack of sorts um, and like a bag of provisions that's been laid next to the door kind of like in order that you guys can grab. You know, some are a little bit bigger than others. Well, are we ready to get going? I think so. I would hope uh, so. All right. After I change, I will head headed downstairs, and I'll be mean mugging Thane the whole time. Is there any way to sneak into the kitchen without going through the living room? Mm, no, not really. Okay, then while I'm going to casually walk through the living room into the kitchen. Okay. And is there is it possible to get out of sight of people? Yeah, I mean, once you step into the dining room, it's like the dining room, and then it's the kitchen behind that. Perfect. I'm going to grab a couple of beers off the wall okay. and throw them into my back. <laughs> okay. And then I'll look for some whiskey. Okay, make a sleight of hand check and a perception check. Damn. Um, don't, don't mess with horns. Yeah, <laughs> especially when he's looking for booze. Um, you grab quite a few beers, and like you, you look at them as you're putting them in there, and they look good. They look like real good beers that you had the night before, and you manage to get them into the bag. Um, and you can hear everybody kind of shuffling in the doorway, and you kind of use that to your advantage to pull out the whiskey bottles one by one to like look for the good one. And you're kind of an alcoholic, so you, you know what the good shit is, and you know what you're kind of looking for. And you like you time it every single time, like somebody picks up a backpack or makes a grunt or they shuffle or do something in the hallway and they make a loud noise. You like pull out the bo the bottle really quick, and you're like, okay, no, 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 that's good, but not good enough. Oh, yep, okay, yep, no. And you get to kind of the bottom, and there's a really, 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 really dusty one, and you pull it out, and you're like, oh, that's the shit, and you throw it in your bag really quick. 
Okay, I'll casually go back out. Okay. Well, are we ready to go? <clears throat> I'm ready. All right. Mm -hmm. Let us begin. So he steps outside, um, and there's a gorgeous black Arabian-ish type horse, and he steps onto his horse. Are you guys bringing your horses as well? Yeah, I'm gonna wait my make my way to Bergen, and start like putting my some of the stuff in the like saddle bag or whatever. Wait, do I have a horse? Uh, we have two other horses. Um, I can't remember Britta and Brutus. Which one was the chestnut one? Was Brutus the chestnut one? Brutus. And then Britta, Britta, Britta was, was like the tan, tan color. Yeah, she was okay. like a tan paint type deal. And then Bergen was a Clydesdale. Silver. Black mane. Real big one, black okay. Mane. I'm gonna go hop on Britta. So, because we only have three horses, one of them is for Morn, and then um, we'll have to double up. So, I'll hop on Britta, and then we'll each... It's just gonna be double up, with the exception of Morn and Thane. Okay. Okay. I... I guess I'll, uh... Where's the, other, where's the other horse? Who's the other horse? We have Brutus, Brutus and Bretta. Uh, you, said there were, you said there was three of them, though, right? Yeah, uh, Bergen is like a really big horse that's just for Morn. Because okay. the regular horses can't fit Morn. And then we have the two other horses for the, the other four of us. All right. Well, I'll jump on the other horse then. Okay. Uh, at that point, you see the little goblin come out. And he waves his fingers. The doors lock on the house, and he jumps on the back of the horse with Thane. All right. Let us be off. And you guys are these, off at a gallop. What's up? Are these are these things the the Lysen or Lysen or whatever? No. Of the actual horses. They're just large horses. Actual horses. Yeah. Oh, we, okay. didn't, we didn't get oh, like 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 Cians. Like no. Cians. Oh yeah. yeah. Nope. They're just That's regular right. regular horses. The I think the party was having difficulties with the price of the um, more exotic mounts. Okay. All right, and then before we take off, I'm gonna pat the back of the horse and look at Kaz mm -hmm. and Kaylin and be like, "All right, which one of you?" I'll look over to Kaz. Whichever one you would like, I'll take the other. I'll just whichever one's closest to me. <laughs> so non-committal. Get on the fucking horse. Okay, Thane has already took off and he's at a gallop in front of you guys. The, the, who was on Thane's horse? The butler went yep. with him. Is that okay. Yep. Who wants to be Team Ping? Yeah. Who do you want double up with Kaz, Freya, or Ping? I'll uh, I'll hop on Freya's horse. All right. Uh, I'll double up with ping. Yeah. Right. As soon as yeah. they hop on, I'm gonna like nod my head forward, like I'm trying to race them. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm at. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> and I'm gonna take off as fast as my horse can go towards. Uh, you're, you're, not, you're not. Who, who's who's racing? Morn. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take off and race him too. Caitlin, hold on. All right, yeah, I guess we're all taking off. Okay. I I feel like me and Freya are the smallest combined. Oh, for sure. So we're gonna be really light and really fast. Yeah, yeah. Bergen Bergen's the fastest and greatest He's a horse. A big fucking horse, and you're so, a okay. Big guy. So hold on. So hold on. So are you guys racing? Yeah. Okay. So we got Bergen, Britta, and Brutus. Okay. So, I want you guys to, whoever's driving the three horses, roll a d20. Morn, you roll yours at disadvantage. <laughs> uh, and actually, so would Kaylin and um, Ping. I was going to cut... Actually, gonna... no, you guys should be alright, because Ping's a skinny fuck. I was going to cut Freya off. Okay. How are you going to cut me <laughs> off? Yikes. <laughs> Yeah, me and Ping. 
So Fuck. you guys take off at a gallop, and Morn, <laughs> <laughs> Morn, Morn does, does the like the head forward, like you know, like let's do this, and you guys like take off and you like buck, and the horses take off. Freya and um, Kaz, you guys get off to a really good start right off the bat. It's a, it's you're the light. It's a smaller horse. It's a lighter horse, and you guys take off. Um, <laughs> Ping and Kaylin, uh, you kick the horse and the horse gets going. You guys have a little more experience with horses, and you guys actually manage to you know get on the horse correctly, hold your kind of your legs in, and actually get down and get the speed going. Um, Morn, on the other hand, with a big old giant Clydesdale, you go to kick the horse, <laughs> never having rode a horse before, and your big yeah, body... I had, I had ridden one once the day before. Okay. Eh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so anyways... But like a city block. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like seven foot something Morn, like 300 pounds, 200 pounds... Leans back, big barbarian Morn, and kicks the horse, like spurs him. The horse's sides go in, <laughs> and you and you hear a, and like it takes off, and like semi bucks, and for like twenty <laughs> seconds, Morn, you are holding on for dear life. Sorella, strength check, because you're like your Clydesdale is just shit bricks in place right now. Okay, so you you man, you're like you're a big tough guy, so you kind of do like almost like a choke hold like you let go of the bridles and like hands around the neck of the horse <laughs> and you're just like <laughs> like holding on for dear life and the finally the horse settles down and you kind of like get off for a second and you're like okay i'm sorry i right, can we get off to a fresh start fresh start choke, choke hold calm down calm down <laughs> you get back on the horse roll another d20 just a straight one this time okay so you manage to get the horse calm and you take off it's a Clydesdale it's not a sprinting horse so you, you get a nice gallop going but you can definitely tell you are far behind so one more one more d20 between the all between all of you straight d20s another 12 oh baby okay ping Bing, you're driving. Kaz is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he joined his dogs on the floors. <laughs> Ping. I think he died. Kalen, make the roll. Okay. Ping died. Kalen's saving him. Oh. Uh, so you guys get the kick going. Kalen and Ping, you guys are ahead, and you guys are really kicking into it now. Um, but you're not exactly a light person either. And it was a short sprint. It was a really good short sprint. But now you can feel it start to give way, and you can hear the, the horse kind of like, <sighs> like really trying to get its breath. And you're kind of like, oh, what's this? She did. Um, and you're like, oh, okay, whoa, 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 horsey, okay. And you're like, you're like, slow down. Yep, we don't need to kill you before we even like barely leave Canby. And Freya and and Kaz, as you do that, just like whiz by you. And they they're going and they kind of start to trot. And you guys are like having fun. You guys pull the reins back a little bit. But out of fucking nowhere, all of a sudden, you guys just you can hear it and you can feel it. You just see, and all you can, you look back and you see Morn's hair in the wind and you just see him just like, <laughs> <laughs> this horse is just like, -da 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 -bum, -da -da -bum. and it's just like, I mean, it's, a big, it's a big fucking horse, so exactly like Morn, the strides are a lot farther, and now it's kind of one of those like, like a fat kid, like really, really, really slow to start, but kind of scary once it gets the fucking momentum going, it's and all of a sudden, good. Yeah, it's like all of a sudden like this giant fucking tank at a dead sprint just like by you. And Clydesdales, if you guys don't know, actually have a better lung span and strength. So every one of its kicks is like double you guys' horse. So it is hauling ass and passes you guys. 
And Morn is just, you're just holding on. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheating. Morn, Where you're you cheating. Go, awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna look around for our uh, guide. <laughs> he is just ahead of of um, Kaz and Freya, and he's just watching Bergen fly by, <laughs> in a dead sprint, and just like grinning so, and laughing. So he guys. was, so he was kind of racing with those two. Oh no, he had taken off way before you guys, and he's just kind of waiting, and slowed uh, down. He's just like a little trot the entire time. Oh uh, okay. <laughs> so we'll say for the the sake of brevity and time um because you guys are at a level where camping and whatnot there's really not a whole lot that's gonna be able to fuck with you guys properly um <clears throat> you'll say over the course of uh two and a half days since you guys had horses it did cut it down by about a day and a half um you guys camp and and two blizzards and um you know he, he exchanges more information with you guys about the evercrest mountains about journeys um, a little bit about the Justice's boon and kind of what they stand for. Um, they're just basically about um, anti-slavery, um, freedom and justice for all, and about unity. Basically, you know, uniting all races. <clears throat> um, and he goes on to explain to you that he actually used to be a captive of the Obsidian Eye. And um, that the Justice's Boon had rescued him in transit to a um, a trade-off. Basically, um, he was going to be sold to the to the mines. Um, <clears throat> so he owes he owes them a lot, and it's and actually he kind of spills the beans and doesn't really mean to. But he explains that Bobo used to basically be a part of the Justice's Boon, and Bobo was the one that saved him. And when they were trying to escape, uh, Zaro, uh, Zaro was um, a lot younger back then, but he had actually, he didn't want him to get away, so he'd actually cut him from basically his navel all the way around to his spine to try and spill his guts and kill him. Because if, you know, he couldn't have him, he didn't want anybody else to have him. Um, so, um, I mean, and Freya, the more time goes on, um, you, you do kind of realize that the more you look at him, he's a very opaque color. He, he's a, like, he's, he's such a dark blue, it's almost black. He just has a very different shine to him. So, he's kind of like a one-off color type deal. Hmm. So. Yeah. Takes you guys about two and a half days, roughly, um, and you get to the you get to um, as the days go on, uh, you guys travel a little bit into the night, and as the that second day comes to an end, and you guys camp and wake up that next um, morning, um, as you guys wake up, you step out of your tents, and the first thing you see. <clears throat> and Morn, you, you grew up in the mountains and you've seen you've seen mountains before, you know, so you, you, you know what they look like. But this is different. These are Mount Everest like high, 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 high like and they just they they go up and you can't even see the tips and about halfway down they're snow covered and they just go and you look to the east and the west and they go on and you can't you don't you don't see where they end they just go on and on and on and on and they're high 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 up in the air and you look to the west and they go on and on and on and then you kind of see the dip off into a distance but from what you can see they just continue on and it's 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 kind of it's kind you kind of are awestruck like you thought you lived up in some mountains you thought you've seen you, you know you thought you you considered yourself quite the mountain man but this is different this isn't i mean this isn't mountains this isn't home this is this is fucking up there the rest of you guys see it and it's you guys have never seen anything like this before and it's just kind of like awe inspiring how how large they are 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Evercrest Mountains. Huh? Are we supposed to climb them? <laughs> no. There's, uh, you could spend ten lifetimes probably trying to climb your way through these mountains. The trick is to find your way through them. Yeah, how many how many lifetimes did it take to find that? <laughs> it took me quite a few years to find two paths that I've been able to use quite regularly. Mm. One of them exits just north of Fort Thromgard, and we're not taking that one. We're going to take this one as close to the shoreline as we can get, and hopefully it's still there and we can still use it. If not, then uh, this will get to be an interesting trip really quick. Well, <clears throat> Shent, if you would do me the honors of please taking you know, the horses home, I'd appreciate it. Are you bringing your horses with you or are you leaving them behind with Shand? You Isn't told this us. where you said it, we likely wouldn't be able to bring them? You could. I can't guarantee they'll survive, but that's your decision. What, what? are you going to do, be on foot? Yes, I'm walking. And then it doesn't make sense for us to be on horses. Fair enough, then. Yeah, I'll step off. Will you... Can will you take care of our horses while we walk, and we can maybe come back another time for them? Of course, Shant is going to take them back to the the house. Awesome. Very well. I'm gonna walk in front of Bourbon. Pat her on the head. And then reluctantly walk over and hand hand over the reins. Okay. Um, and as you guys hand the rage to Shant, he actually like makes a couple motions, and it almost seems like tiny hands grab all of the reins and keep them all in one, like in one row, right next to him as he walks. Like as he guides his horse, they all walk like, like like exactly the same way as him the whole way. Fucking horse whisper, yes. And he, he takes off at like a, a, a kind of not, not as like a gallop, but as kind of as a, a run. Trot. Yes. A, a canter. Trot. A trot. Don't worry, they'll be safe. He doesn't look it, but he can be a vicious little shit. He'll make sure that they get home. Well, here we go. And he starts to take, he takes off walking in front of you, oh, probably like 15 feet or so. And it's not like an immediate into the mountains. It's, it's, it's heavily, like, rocky, and then, like, there's some trees, and it's kind of like, um, how to describe it? Um, and I don't know anywhere around here that'd be good to describe it, uh, Freya, you'd know it, kind of like the Superstition Mountains, as you as you walk your way up it, it's like a slight in incline. Yeah, it's like a slope that the the earth slopes up to the mountain. Correct. Like and it's earth slopes, it, it slopes up to the base of it. Yeah, and like the bottom of the base is like like rocky and like heavily rocky, and there there's like a definite trail that you can see, and then there's like, you know, bits, like little trees here and there, kind of spread out, like nothing like super close or super dense. As you guys start to make your way um, towards the mountains. All right. So, that being said, <clears throat> somebody can make a survival check with advantage since you have fame. You're basically... I have proficiency with survival. I could do that. Yep. Oh, actually, so it wouldn't matter. You're just there to help spot any dangers or keep your eye for the trail yeah so over the course of the first day you you might you manage to find your way on the trail and it's a very it's a very well beaten path like you actually like okay yeah who's masturbating <laughs> <laughs> jesus i got really like all right have, have huh? fun. okay yep there it is anyways um 
you, you it's a very well used path you can obviously see that this, is, this has been used many 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 times you can see where uh, people have actually taken rock and laid them flat to almost make like a cobblestone for the first portion of it um, after about the first mile though you notice it just significantly changes you go from almost the cobblestone dirt dirt like well-worn path to like a lighter path like almost like uh yeah yeah but it's 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 a lighter it's a lighter path so it's almost like if you were to continuously walk over grass the outer edges are thick and then it kind of like has worn down a little bit and then right in the center it's like it's like dirt it, it, it starts to get like that where you're walking and the path isn't necessarily a path anymore it just looks like people have walked over it a couple of times and so it's almost kind of been permanently worn down but the, the, the further you walk through Thane points out a couple of things here and there um, you notice that like the, pa the, the the path continues going straight and kind of curves off to the right and then there's like another offshoot that goes off to the right again and there's one that goes off to the left and kind of and then there's one that goes like up to the left upper one and then there's kind of one that goes off to the right and then up and then looks like it goes over a little hill and you know you, you kind of are like pointing them out and saying well there's all these paths and Thane turns back around and no 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 you don't want to follow those that's what I talk about when I say misleading. You could walk through these mountains for days and get lost. You have to have a sense of where these lead or you'll get lost within these mountains quite easily and find yourself meeting creatures you don't want to. Um, <clears throat> at the end of the first day, you guys make it a decent way into the mountains and you guys do find kind of like a like a bridge, like an over, like it's a, it's a not like a cave, but it's almost like a like a tunnel of some sorts that exits on the other side that you can tell people have walked through, and you guys set up kind of like a little base camp in there. It's a tunnel, so you can walk through it, but we're also setting up camp in it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so is it like a really wide tunnel? Or are we like blocking off the the walkway by camping there? You're, you're blocking off the walk path. So, I know you guys are looking forward to a nice campfire, but here in these mountains, you don't. It's a beacon. So, um, I will take the first watch, and then we need two more people to watch throughout the night. I'll watch. I'll take I'll a watch as well. Morning, Caitlin, for the last year. Okay. So, you guys all secure yourselves in, you get the makeshift tent up, you bundle yourselves up, mm -hmm. and you can feel Thane step outside as he, um, he sits next to the cave entrance to a point where he can look out but still be sheltered within the cave. Um, it is snowing, it's cold, mm -hmm. but it's not like, it's probably got like a half an inch of snow on the ground right now. And it's 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 pretty chilly out. Like high twenties, high like, teens. Like twelve degrees. Okay. Fucking cold. It's pretty chilly. But with cold all, enough to hurt. Eh, but with all the fur and stuff you guys have on, and all the different camping gear he guys lent you, you guys, are pretty, you guys are pretty warm. Okay. So the night goes on. You don't hear much of him. And those of you that, that stay awake to kind of like make sure that he's actually guarding you, um, it's actually kind of creepy. At some points, you don't hear 
like usually you know like when you're sleeping at night and like somebody somebody's like trying to be quiet how they make that weird like heavy breathing like they're trying to breathe quieter but you can definitely hear them do it yep you don't hear them at all like breathing you don't hear anything from him he's actually like dead quiet out there hmm and his his uh his watch comes to an end your watch comes to an end <laughs> comes to an end. I'll take my watch then. Okay. So I imagine he gets up and wakes me, or or he comes in and wakes me up when it's over. Yes. He comes in and nicely, and nicely, kind of like nudges you on the shoulder. And he looks, he looks tired, and he just okay. Everything was quiet for the night. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep now. If you sit at an angle at the edge of the tunnel, you can actually peek out both ways and look down the tunnel on the opposite side. Okay. So I'll go out there and I will, um, I'll follow his tip. Okay. So you set up just at the edge of the tunnel where you're actually able to see pretty much everything on the tunnel at the side that you guys came in and set up, and then you're actually able to peek just beyond the tent and all the way down the tunnel to the opposite side. Okay. You want me to roll perception? Or no? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> the night goes on and it gets to be pretty close to the end of your watch probably around like 1 or 2 a.m. ish and you're starting to get tired and the temps dropped another couple degrees so now instead of that 12 it, it's probably sitting around 0 like right on the dime with that negative 5 wind chill with that little breeze that kind of sweeps through every once in a while <laughs> Um, as you sit there, um, you, you pulled, you know, you pulled everything up, <clears throat> you, you notice something moving in the far distance, and you just hear kind of like a, <sighs> and you're just like, you kind of hunker down, you get really quiet, and you cover your mouth with your, um, the inner sides of your jacket, so that uh, in the fur, so that you can't see any of your breath, and you you get really you get quiet and you get low down. And as you do, the creature gets closer, and it doesn't look like it's for it doesn't look like it's noticed you. It almost looks like it's foraging slash, just kind of like making its way through the night. Can I tell what it is? How big it is. So, um, because of your perception check, you can't tell what exactly it is, but it is huge. It is bigger than anything you've seen. It looks like... It looks like a lion with the tail of a dragon, two giant claws on the front with a snout that comes down like a beak, and there's barbs that run the whole backside of its body that come out and the tail actually forms almost a club with multiple spikes that pop out in every direction. So would I know what that is? I mean, I have an idea, but would Freya know? Um, no, 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 you wouldn't, because this is it, this is like nothing you've ever seen before. Okay. Yeah, it, this is this is something something weird, something can unnatural. I can I tell if it looks? like dangerous or if it looks 
you know, like you said, I could. I, it looks to me like it's maybe foraging, but by looking at it, would I look like that's something that would potentially attack? Would I would I notice that about it? Uh, not make a make a nature check. Unfortunately, uh, this creature not with a nat one. No, this creature is. Not only have you never seen anything like this before, something's off. And then on top of that, it just seem it's just very, very hard to read. And you're not you're just not you're not sure at all, like even in the slightest. So I'm just gonna keep really low and really quiet and just keep watching it for the time being. Okay. And after after probably about an hour eventually it, it's made its way out of this little valley and kind of up over a hill and like disappeared and you, you don't hear any of the breathing noises or the scuffling noises or a, you know anything that would alert you to you know be on guard okay so i'll probably relax a little bit after i've seen it kind of disappear and your watch comes to an end. Oh shit, I can finally use that gif. <laughs> Jesus God. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Alright, so um, it was Ping and Kaylin that said they would take next? Or who was it? Yep, Ping and Kaylin. Alright, so I'm going to go up and... It was me and Kaylin, but I, I can let Kaylin do it. Well, you guys can both do it. I don't know. It's up to you. You guys can bond. If you wake me up, I'll do it. Well, I'll remember when we were offering up that I heard both of you say it. So I'll probably wake both, gently jostle you, and I'm going to tell both of you about the crazy, weird, out-of-this-world, large, beastly, lion, bird, dragon thing I saw. And that it went away up the hill, so we should be safe, but to keep an eye out for it. Hmm. Do you Kaylin. describe its like features to me? Yeah, I was gonna well, say, Kaylin, make an intelligence check. Yeah, so I would have I would have explained it was it looked like a massive lion with like a bird beak and like a dragon tail. I was planning to pour over that folklore book again during my watch, but I'll do it now. Who'd you wake up the to? Uh I woke up Morn and Kaylin. You're not able to, like, get the full details. You do remember skimming this page and, and thinking in great t t detail, like, this has got to be a myth. There's no way that there's anything like this in this world. Um, but it's it's not in any of the, like, the... Um, I can't remember. Like, the geography books or anything like that of the Evercrest Mountains or the... Um, the indigenous, like the wildlife, it's actually in the folklore book, and that's where you remember reading it. And it talks about a um, a manticore and a dragon that had fused magically somehow and had formed this hybrid. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna totally like sounds like a manticore, but obviously Freya doesn't. Have so I would have been like, oh my god, this thing like freaky weird thing it was huge I've never seen anything like it yeah hmm. it, it just kind of rings you don't remember too much about it you just remember reading like somebody had described like going into the mountains and running into one of these things and how it was incredibly aggressive and had the traits of a dragon and the traits of a manacore and kind of some of the unique powers of both but you're not, you don't remember anything else beyond that. Hmm. Thank you for letting me know. I'll check the book again uh, during my watch and see if I can find anything else. That thing's in a book? So you might uh, be able to find out what it is? Yes, a collection of folklore. I'll uh, dig into it more as I'm watching. Yeah, it would be good to know if that's something that we need to be careful about or if it's something that's friendly. Indeed. So, uh, 
either you guys can roll two separate perception checks or one with advantage. I'll do it with advantage. The night continues on. The wind starts to pick up a little bit, and it, get, it does get really, really cold. So you pull Kaelin tight, and you just kind of... No, no I'm just kidding. Um, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Uh, the temp drops a little bit more as, as morning starts to come, and then it kind of like slowly starts to rise. Um, you guys can feel kind of like the dew sit and crystallize on you guys' shoulders as you guys are kind of like stiff sitting in your spots. Um, you see a couple creatures throughout the night, but they're all very small creatures, and you can watch them like you watch them like dart around quickly from like tree to shrub to rock, you know, and back again. But there's nothing, there's nothing that catches your eye or sends off any kind of warning signs. Um, and as as the morning does come, uh, Morn, you do look out like 50 feet. And you can see the large imprints of some kind of paw, like, like, in unison stepping through the snow about fifty to seventy-five feet out from the cave entrance. While we were watching, I would have gone into that collection of folklore, and I would have tried to find something mm -hmm. of what she described. Mm -hmm. So, probably another intelligence check to see if you can find it within the book and then mm, cipher through the information that's like not folklore and, and like actual factual because there's there's shit in there there was stuff in there that's kind of like you know fluff yeah a perception check uh intelligence oh intelligence gotcha yep. all right nice uh, it takes you kind of like a good part of the night. You didn't remember exactly where in the book you found it, um, but you do find a couple of pages devoted to this creature, and they're calling it a lightning manticore. It seems like it's some kind of cross or mutation between a manticore and a, a dragon. And that it does have uh, some of the racial abilities of dragons and some of the aggressive features of um, manticore. So, like, without the intelligence that comes with uh, with a dragon, it just kind of has the aggressive slash brutal nature of the manticore. Um, you know, and then it talks about blah 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 blah. It can grow. It can make its size grow. Uh, four times its natural size, and it has 17 wings, and um, it, it can it can make it can make babies. They breed like rabbits, and you're kind of reading it, and you're like, "Wow, it doesn't sound fucking correct. That's kind of dumb." And you read through some of it, and it talks about how they can like camouflage their bodies, and you know you won't even see them, and you're like, "Well, no, I don't think so about that either." And you continue reading through it, and at the very end, um. It confuses you, and you're not you're not really able to um, get a grasp on it. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it does talk like in the folklore. It does talk a little bit about how the um, the magical like nuclear bomb that went off has mutated a lot of the creatures in these mountains, causing causing creatures that don't mate together to mate, causing these abominations, and that, um, you know, there's, like, like, fairies and, and the fairy pools that, you know, cause this kind of mutation, and, you know, talking to them could clear up problems and whatnot, and it, it, it's, it's just really confusing to work out the, the, the minor details of it. Mm-hmm. So morning comes. Um, you guys break camp, get everything ready. Um, you Thane kind of walks out into the field and notices the large footprints 
and just kind of like looks around and goes, oh, well, I'm glad we didn't run into that last night. We did. Well, shall we continue on? Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Before that thing comes back. I agree. Hopefully we don't run into it. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually run up to Caitlin and ask if he found anything in his book. Oh. Uh, yes, I believe so. Um, judging from your description, what I could gather was that there was a lightning manticore, or that's what they call it anyway, a fusion between a, a regular manticore and a dragon. It's rumored to possess the racial abilities of a dragon and some of the physical capabilities of a manticore. Of course, it can sometimes be hard to discern fact from fiction, uh, so there was also other sources claiming that it could grow four times in size, it could camouflage itself, uh, but I don't believe those abilities are normally available to either dragons or manticores, so I'm not sure if I trust those. Uh, but from what I can gather, there's even more dangerous stuff around here. The magical bomb that happened many moons ago have mutated the mountain's creatures and have caused species that don't normally mate to mate. And so there are many more fusions of monsters as a result in these mountains that we probably don't want to run into. Yay. Great. Well, I'm glad you found it, and we know what it is, but it sounds like we want to try and avoid it. Mm -hmm, heavily so. I'm going to make my way out of the cave toward the footprint I saw. Okay. It's it's very large. It's like, uh, if you were to lay down, uh, it would be about from your heels to about... Mm, yeah, about, about your, like, right below your chest. Kind of like mid, mid-waist. Jeez. So like a five, six foot like, step? Like, like footstep, yeah. Yeah, it's not that big. <laughs> how far? How far can I see the footprints? How far apart? No, just how far do I see them go for? Does it go off as far as I can see? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. In, gonna... the, opposite, in the opposite direction that you guys were heading, though, it kind of heads off to the right and up over like a hill. Yeah, I'm gonna follow them in the direction that looks like the creature's walking. Okay. So you follow it for about 50 to 75 feet, and then uh, you kind of walk up a hill, and over the other side of the hill, you fall off and die. No, um... <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Woo! Uh, Bye, you look, over, you look over the edge, and as you look over the edge, it is a wide fill, a field. Just like it opens up into like a ginormous, like, like like miles and miles of fields and rocks and it's just like open fields and you see it walk off into the direction and for kind of as far as you can see and then you look really closely and then it just looks like the the it just looks like the the uh, they just like disappear just it turns it turns and looks at you in the eye awkwardly <laughs> do you go out to see where it takes off. I'll walk as far as it, the thing takes off. Okay. You get to where the feet take off. Um, probably like another 50 to 60 feet over the side of the hill. So you guys all watch. Kind of, well, if you guys are paying attention, Morn just disappears up over this hill. You get to that point, and there's blood all over the ground. Okay, I'm going to look all around in the sky, as far as I can see. Make a perception check. Oh, baby, that's exactly what you fucking needed. You look all around, and you were like, wow. Okay, all, the, all, your, time, all your time that you spent in the mountains, you've, you've, seen, you've seen this type of behavior before. It's usually done by eagles, and it usually happens when prey stands out in the field. 
the the eagle sees it from a distance it kind of makes its like up up arc and when it swoops down it lands on the creature basically breaking its back and goring it and then picking it up directly in the air and just disappearing it and usually it takes it somewhere to either drop it to kill it again or kill it in midair and you look at it and you take your time to inspect and yeah you can definitely see where the body of this large large creature was and you can see almost like like grooves on each side where there's like four groove marks where this giant body would have been and you can see where they must have hit the ground and like indented into the ground and then scraped to either like grab the creature and take off and the longer you look at it the longer it kind of clicks in your mind and you're like this had to have been a bird something landed on this large creature and then took it off and you freak out you kind of have like that moment of like that moment of clarity like why the fuck am I standing in a field and you look up into the sky and you just start looking all around and in the far 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 distance you see a small speck in the sky and it just is kind of moving slowly not towards you not away from you but it's just moving and there's something in the back of your mind that says get the fuck out of this field I'm going to get the fuck out of that field. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Are you just walking back over the hill? Yeah, but I'm going to be definitely on alert. Okay. Until I'm at least down below the hill line. Okay. And it's not even like a hill. It's just kind of like a hill down into another little valley is all it really is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, then I'll be glad to get back to the cave. You find anything? Yeah, there's some scary shit here. Yeah, I get that impression. I feel like we need to get the hell out of here as fast as we can and be as discreet as possible. Yeah, that thing you guys saw last night, its tracks are like up to my waist. And it walked a little bit past our cave before it got snatched by something much bigger. So. Bigger? Yeah, it flew down and grabbed it. They get bigger? Yeah. Everybody be quiet. Back into the cave right now. And you see Thane, like, immediately take off in a dead sprint back towards the cave entrance and, like, get down onto his knees. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll follow Yep, immediately yeah. following. Run. Yeah. run, run, run. Okay. At that moment, <clears throat> you guys are all, you guys are all kind of sitting at this cave entrance, like hunkered down, like down in the snow, and he's telling you guys to literally get down, like onto your bellies, and like lay flat. And as he does that, you guys just, you guys, you, you don't see it, you hear it first, and you just hear. And you guys are like and it's like it's it's almost like 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 when you turn bass speakers up like really 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 loud you can you can feel like your whole body like body like reverberate every time this like whatever it is and you're sitting there and where the hill where you just were Thane, or Thane, uh, Morn, you can see the snow actually start getting kicked up, almost like a, like a mini blizzard, but it is a clear day. No clouds, no nothing, and all the snow, like the fresh snow, is just getting kicked up into the air. And <clears throat> right as that happens, something like a freaking Boeing 747 just flies over the top of the hill. And in a loud, just, like, just a loud, uh, piercing sound... You just hear, and you guys' eardrums are like, just like, getting ready to pierce and explode as it like flies up and over and kind of makes like a big swoop. And it is, oh God, what is it like? I think it's like a 50 foot wingspan or something like that. Oh man. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like 60, 70 foot wingspan just this giant like 
Freya, what you had saw the night before was like super, super big. And you had already been like, okay, that's a really, really big creature. This is like double that size. Oh, and it damn. Just, it just flies up and over. And like, <clears throat> you guys can't even like the whole body sitting in the, um, in your little, like in the little cave thing that you guys are in. You can't even see the whole body as it flies over. You just see the underbody and talons and one of like a part of the wingspan as it flies up and over and takes and you can hear it like th like thrumming like it's like it's wing beats as it takes back on to get altitude <clears throat> what you gather is it thought it saw something and swooped down into the location to see what it was it was probably us Carborn. <laughs> well guys that's my future mount <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Five minutes what goes by. What was that? Shut up. It's not gone yet. Ten minutes goes by. <laughs> you can hear it swoop one more time and takes off in a wider arc on the opposite side of the cave, kind of like in a... Uh, opposite you side fashion and it comes up the other side takes off into the air again okay we'll give it five minutes and then we're going to leave I know of a route through a little uh, little cave system that we can take to get out of the open uh, this must be its hunting grounds I haven't seen one in probably ten years, I'll tell you more as we go. You guys yeah, I think I like it. the idea of caves better. This is for like another five or ten minutes. You can see Thane kind of get up, and he peeks off and out. <clears throat> he takes off in a dead sprint, hits the hill, and lays flat against the hill. Crawls up to the edge of the hill and looks off into the distance. You can see him sit there for another five minutes or so, and he stands up. Walks back down, you guys, towards you, all you calmly. Okay, let's uh, let's gather our things and leave. I don't think this is the place we want to be anymore. Uh, it seems like we've, uh, over the last couple of years that I've been here, it looks like a rock has made this uh, his hunting grounds. I really don't feel like being in its hunting grounds. Yeah, I say let's go. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> Okay, so you guys gather everything up. Uh, you pack up you guys' tents and belongings and the food. Um, and instead of having a nice hearty breakfast, you guys are kind of eating like jerky and dried fruits and berries. Um, and you guys take off. Uh, so roll another survival check to see if you guys can ascertain the location or direction that you guys are wanting to go. Do you want me to roll another one? Whoever wants to roll it. Uh, I got plus two. You're the ranger. I have to plus six. One second. Oh, yeah. Sorry, one second. It's loading. Yeah. Nope, that's wrong. Dash it. <clears throat> okay. So... You guys walk for a while. Um, probably the better part of the day. Um, you guys go off track a couple of times, and actually, you almost go over the side of a couple of ravines um, before Thane manages to catch you. And then you guys walk a little bit further, and he gets kind of confused. And he's while well, he's looking around, he almost like steps off backwards into a, like um, some bushes that basically aren't bushes. They're basically just like a drop off. And you guys kind of help each other find the way there. Um, but towards the end of that, the next day, you guys do make your way to a, um, a smaller cave system. Um, it's just like a little entrance opening. So, there's two risks with this. And we can do whatever you guys feel like. We can go up over this cave system. And it is an open field. Uh, it's a lot safer and a little more direct. Uh, it'll get us to the same location, but it does expose us to whatever is out there. Um, this cave system is actually a uh, dwarven 
uh, mine of sorts, and uh, it's a little zigzaggy, but it's not bad. I have been in here before, so. Whatever you think is best. You're our guide. Alright, well. To the caves it is. I would rather not be above ground with the rock. Because it looks I like would it's, agree. it's feeding time for him. So you guys make your way into this. <clears throat> it's about as tall as Morn and about as wide as your shoulders. So it's a pretty tight fit. It's not like uncomfortable by any means. But it's it definitely is made for smaller folk. As you guys leave the daylight behind, the cave closes in around you, and you guys sense the, not like immediately, like immediate descent, but you guys can kind of feel like a gradual descent to this tunnel. How deep does this go? Are you asking, Fane? Yes. Hmm. I've been in here twice. It gets kind of confusing, and we kind of really have to keep on our guard. Remember how I told you that some of these tunnels shift? Uh, this is the one that shifted on me a while, many years back, and I got lost for a couple days. But uh, the farthest I've gone with this was probably about a quarter mile below the earth, and then it brought me back up on the other side. Great. Well, at least we have plenty of supplies and if we do get lost. Okay. So roll another survival check. There we go. <clears throat> you guys make your way through this cave system. Um, a couple of the times you can see it gets kind of backwards with the way the the... the the cave system leads, but as he goes, you do you do manage to like peek over his shoulder while he's guiding you, and you do notice that he he seems to feel along the walls, and as he's going, you do notice that he like brushes off like a symbol, and you can tell that it's it's a symbol that was scratched into the wall at some point, that looks like it's giving him some kind of direction. As you watch him like guide his way through this little cave system, as it, you know it gets to a fork in the road. And you can see him feel along both sides of the walls, and he kind of like, oh no, no, okay, yes, we're gonna go, we're gonna take this right way, and this should take us to where we're going. <clears throat> you go for probably about a mile or so, and it's you guys feel pretty worn out, and that's about the time that he turns, and he looks at you, and he goes, well. We can do two things. We can push on for another couple hours and maybe make it to the other side of this cave, or we can camp down here. There's a little grotto right up ahead that we can camp within, and uh, we can, it should be safe. <clears throat> it would probably be better to rest up where it's safe in here before we come out the other side and have to deal with more of what we dealt with. I agree. Yeah, very very well. Alright, well let's put down for the night then. Hooray! 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 This is a little grotto. Yep, just like a little, it's like a little, like it comes to an opening, it's like a little circular grotto that has um, three more cave entrances. Okay. Is it safe to make a fire? Yes, yes, we're down here. There's nothing down here that should should harm us. I would say we should be fine. I would still suggest that we uh, we do uh, guards throughout the night, watches. I'm gonna put some stuff together, and then ask Kaz. To light it. <clears throat> Since I ain't got no fire skills. Okay. A nice fire is made. It is warm and it feels good for the first time in a couple days. I'm gonna curl up next to the fire. 
So, Thane lays down, and falls asleep almost immediately. So, who is taking the three watches? I'll do one since I meant I didn't do one last time. Okay. I'll I'll do the next one. I'll take the last one. Okay. <clears throat> Roll perception check, Kaz. As everybody hunkers down for the night. Unless you guys have something you want to do. Hmm. No, I'd say I'd probably curled up on the f by the fire and probably passed out. During the first watch, uh, I'll pour over the third book that I got, the uh, combat manual specifically tailored to me. See if I can learn a trick or two from it. Okay. Mm. I'll be intently pouring over every page this time since I'm not you know, <coughs> watching. Um, first watch goes off without a hitch. There's nothing really sparks your interest. Kalen's kind of up with you. He's there, but he's not there. He, you can just see he's like very intently into his books. <clears throat> um, everything seems good. The first watch. Who's got okay. a second? It's me, Ping. Okay. So I'll, I'll wake up Ping, just let him know, hey, I didn't say anything. It's been quiet so far. All right. Okay. Roll perception. Kalen, are you going to bed or are you continuing on? Uh, I didn't have to uh, exert myself, so I'll just continue going into the book, getting as far as I can. About halfway through this watch, if you don't go to sleep, you might risk exhaustion for tomorrow. Yeah, Just once I get like, once I feel like, yeah, okay, now it's time, then I'll put the book down. Perfect. So, uh, Pink, you are like super rested and like ever vigilant. Um, you notice a couple cave snakes some like weird creatures on like the outer boundaries of the fire moving around but nothing that kind of puts you on edge it's more of a you know you're kind of fucking with them you notice the snakes like slither kind of close to the fire and you take a rock and you peg it it slithers off in the opposite direction but you know halfway through your watch you, you know you, you watch you watch Kaelin kind of get up he he makes his way towards where everybody else is sleeping. Um, and your watch comes to an end without any issue at all. It's early, early in the morning. Yeah, I'll be like, fucking nerd. <laughs> 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 Alright, who, who's next? <laughs> Aren't monks supposed to love reading in books? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> who's got last watch? I was going to take last watch. Roll a perception check. The first part of your watch goes off without a hitch. Everything is good. Everything seems fine. <clears throat> About 4 a.m., you don't see it, but you do hear it. And you just hear the shifting of stone and the moving of, like, stone. You just hear kind of that How far away does it sound? 75 feet? Ah, uh, probably like 45 feet. 45, 50 feet. Okay, I'm gonna like, not wake anyone else up. Slowly kind of walk toward the noise. Okay, it's pitch black. So yeah, I'm gonna have a great axe out. Okay. So as you walk towards the noise, um, you get about 20 feet away from the fire and it starts to get really, really dim and you're having a hard time seeing anything. 
and the farther you get away from the 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 fire the the more and more you're having a difficulty seeing what's ahead of you but you kind of can make out the the wall like where the three exits go and it just doesn't it just doesn't look right but you're not you, you can't really see so you're not sure does it sound like the sounds coming from one of the exits possibly it was in this direction you don't hear the sounds anymore I'll wait for like maybe another minute and if I don't hear the sound I'll just go back to the fire okay about in a minute or two passes three minutes don't you don't, you don't hear anything anymore yeah I'll go back to the fire okay <clears throat> Another hour, two, three hours go by without incidents, and your watch comes to an end. Yeah, I'm just going to wait until people wake up. Okay. Thane is the first one to wake up, and he comes out and starts making kind of like a breakfast type deal, like he starts boiling some eggs. And... I'm going to go help him. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay curled up by the fire and plug so you, my ears. So you guys do, you guys do kind of, you guys don't, you don't have, you don't have to wake up, but you guys do, um, smell fresh bacon, eggs, and coffee. It's about 5.30 in the morning, roughly-ish, 6. I'll probably wake up since I sp mm -hmm. Since I uh, spent uh, the night not resting a lot, I'll probably be like, oh, I need some energy. Mm, coffee. Okay. I'm just going to wrap my hood around my head so that it blocks out the smell and the sound and try and go back to sleep. Catch on the couple Z's. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, this is where the, the part of the journey gets a little tricky. Because from here on out, uh, I gotta hope that the, the runes that I've been following are there. If not, we're going to have fun. But we're a, we're a little over halfway there. Good to hear. Halfway through the mountains, you said? Or to the tunnel? Halfway through the mountains. We've made pretty decent time. We've taken a couple shortcuts and cut a little bit ahead off of our time, so we're getting there. Well, let's eat some breakfast and uh, wake up the rest of this party so we can get this on the road and get out of here as quick as possible. Sounds wonderful. And he just kind of continues eating and drinking his coffee, waiting for who's, everybody else to wake up. Who's the closest to me? Probably, probably uh, Freya. She's probably sleeping right next to you. Okay, I'll go over, put my hand on her shoulder, and shake it a little bit, and be like, "Hey, time to get going. We made breakfast." I'm gonna make like an uh, sound and keep my head just wrapped around the head. A piece I'll of be like, nose. "Yeah, I'll be like, we have bacon." <laughs> Make another grunt. Make my head wrapped in my hood. I want to go back to sleep. Like, smell this and just shove it up her nose. <laughs> no, no. Well, I'll, I'll go to. <laughs> I'll go to. Um, is anyone else still sleeping? Are they? Yeah. I'll, I'll get up as soon as I. Yeah, I'm gonna. Up. I'm gonna go wake the other people up if anyone else is asleep first. I think the only other one was mm. Kaylin. Oh wait, no, Kaylin, you said you were getting up to get coffee. Mm. No, I, I was still sleeping. I guess. Okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go wake Ping up. Oh, I'm definitely awake up easily with the smell of bacon. Yeah, exactly. Is there any left? Yeah. Oh yeah. Not for long. I'll use a. Uh... Press the digitation to, to cool Freya's bed roll. Make it real cold. Ooh. 
<laughs> and, like dart out of it and then just glare at Kaz. It's time to go. I get I can get some water again. <laughs> I'm gonna glare at Ping. <laughs> what a shitty way to wake up. <laughs> so you both you guys pack get, up your rolls, get somewhere safe. You get everything ready to go. And as you guys are getting everything ready to go, kind of dousing the fire, putting everything out, gathering up supplies, you hear a, oh, well, that's not good. Mm, don't say What's that. What's up? Hello? I said, what's up? Hello? 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 We can hear you. Hello? I can hear you. Hello? 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 I'm here, but can Hello? You know, I think we can all hear you. Can you not hear us? Hello? Hello? Is your sound muted? Like, they can't hear us. I don't hear nothing. I can't hear any of you guys. Hello? Shouldn't be. Strange, I don't know. One second, let me try one thing. Did you get your hearing aids fixed? <laughs> 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 Fucking lame. So, Thane said, oh, that's not good. And yeah, I yeah. said, what's up? Um, as he is holding his torch out in front of him, and he's kind of, like, walking back and forth. <clears throat> well, there's one extra tunnel than there used to be. And they're not in the order that I remember that they were in last night. So, so. instead of like three forks, like three forks, they just kind of went boom, boom, boom. There's now a fourth, and they're all like, there's two that are like two tunnels that are like right next to each other, and then there's like one random one, and then there's like one on the far side of the room. So, what's your best? What's from the top, from your instinct, which one's the best way to go? So, do you just have a bad memory, or <clears throat> they no. change, like you said they might? They might have changed, but I'm not positive. The runic symbols that I use to guide myself through these tunnels, I'm not seeing it in any, any of these tunnels so far. My best guess would be maybe one of these two next to each other, but I'm unsure. Can I like walk up to each of the tunnels and decipher if there's like fresh or cool air or anything coming from any of Rake, uh, make a n okay so you you're looking to do like like a like a cold air type deal like you're looking to see if it's like stagnant or are you actually looking yeah, to see if you can like, see, like kinda... tracks or anything like that No I'm trying to f not tracks. But it, I'm trying to figure out if, like, I can find if, like, the way out, like, if there's a breeze going a certain direction. Uh, no, that wouldn't be nature. Uh, it's gonna be survival. Yeah, okay. twelve. <clears throat> so, you walk to each one of the tunnels. The the two that are close to each other. You, you might have felt a breeze, but you're not positive. It, it, it doesn't seem likely. The third one in, you, you're not really sure about that one either. And the fourth one has a, a, a slight breeze, maybe. It feels like cooler, but you're not, you, yeah, it actually does feel a little bit cooler. The problem is, is that two of those I feel like might be a way out, but I don't know which one would be the way that we came from, correct? Because all of them changed? Yeah, well, you came from one across the far side of the room. Did that change too, though? 
Nope, it's still there. Okay. So then I just have two that, like... There's uh, two right next to each other that you're unsure of. There's a third one. So there's, like, two, and then there's, like, one that's, like, on the... F like, kind of, like, away from the other ones. And then there's one. There's, there's one on the far side mm -hmm. of the room that has a breeze coming through it. Which is the one we came from. No. I'm going to go up mm -hmm. to Thane and just be like, I wish none of this had happened to me. And hope that some great realization comes to Thane. <laughs> That's some heavy shit. I'm confused. Uh. Elaborate. Oh, it didn't post the picture. I was thinking of that scene from Lord of the Rings where they're lost in the caves. And then they're talking. And then all of a sudden Gandalf. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Aww. Does it work? Yeah, I can see it. It brings you to the Google search, but it brings up the picture. Yeah. So he thinks about it for a little while. And he goes, none of it makes sense, but if I had to follow, I'd follow a breeze, but I'm unsure. Does Wanderer help me at all? What does Wanderer do? I feel like it's not going to because everything changed. So like I... Right? Like I guess I could mm. point out what direction we were playing and going yesterday. <clears throat> oh, so, maybe. Know which way what, you came from, which way you were going. What this will help you with is you do vaguely remember that how the room was kind of set up, and you do remember that there was the one doorway, on the, like the fourth doorway on the far side of the room. There was, and then there was two that were like straight ahead of you. Mm -hmm. But now it's not like that. There's, there's still the doorway behind you, which is most likely the way back from where you came from but there's the two doorways that are next to each other weren't there before that one doorway that's kind of off on its own was kind of where it used to be and then the one on the far side of the room looks like it's still where it was before but you're, okay. but you're uncertain so only the only the entrance to this grotto seems familiar you're Correct. saying Other than that, nothing else has changed about the room from what you can see now that you have your torches out and you're kind of waving it about, like looking at everything and really taking in like the geographics of everything. <clears throat> so I know which way we're going then. Ja? And Fanny. No. Thane walks towards this the opposite side of the room where that fourth doorway is, and you, you do stand him, see him stand in front of her for a while, and he's just kind of like, I'm not certain. It is a cooler breeze, so maybe it's cold air from outside. The other ones don't feel like there's any breeze, but I don't think we went into the tunnel far enough. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the one I felt the breeze from, too. Well... We can try this one, I guess, and hope for the best, but I don't know. We're not Why expecting to be near an exit. Maybe the cool breeze isn't what we want. It's true. Obviously, if we don't know how far we were, if it would be worth it to follow that. Well, I can say this. The last time I did something like this, I just wandered in one of the caves until I found my way out. <laughs> So. Said that go down that the one with the breeze. <laughs> <clears throat> it's as good as any. Okay. So you guys you guys make your way into that tunnel? Yep. The one with the breeze. Okay. So <clears throat> what is the what's the marching order? So who's, who's it's Thane first, and then it's. I guess. Huh? I guess Thane, me. Okay. Okay. I'll be. I'm gonna be last. Okay. So. 
I'll, I'll go next after ping. Okay. Okay. Kevin, Kaz. Suppose I'll go next after Freya. Okay. So I'll be between Warren and Caitlin. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> As you guys make your way into the cave entrance, um, you guys walk for like 25, 50 feet, and the temp drops pretty rapidly. Uh, it goes from kind of like a mild, like, like cave cool to a, um, almost feels like you guys are outside again. Uh, the temp drops down quite a few degrees. And, um, <clears throat> you guys walk for another 30, 40 feet. The cave opens up a little bit, gets kind of like kind of closed in some in some uh, <clears throat> in some aspects of it, and then um, and then uh, like another forty feet in. Um, Thane disappears from sight. Then Ping disappears from sight. Then Freya disappears from sight. I think we we stop. <laughs> yeah, would have there been a time to react after seeing Thane? Like disappears and dropped or like just Possibly. Stop? You guys were following pretty close. So, so after three people have disappeared would have the rest then stopped or been uh, able to react maybe do you guys are so nobody's told me that they have torches out Thane was the only one that had a torch out so it's pretty dark and but I have dark vision but I have dark vision yeah but you're, <laughs> you're staring at Ping's back <laughs> oh jeez so, so, but, but if Thane had a torch we would have seen it yeah, you just saw, like, Thane disappear and Ping was right next to him, and then all of a sudden, Ping, and then Frey, you were kind of, like, holding on, and you were, like, right there, and then Kaylin. It, it was, like, it was literally, like, boom, boom, boom. So, the rest of the group, you don't know what's happening, but Ping and Freya, you guys are on a ice slide, basically. Like, just whooshing in, like, circles, going downward. Oh shit. We That would not be my reaction. Uh, I'm thinking like the Mario Is Pink man. close enough in front of me that I can like grab a hold of him? Yeah. Yeah, cuz you guys are like right next to each other. <clears throat> we'll just I'll, I'll just yell down. Are you guys okay? They're too far away. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna grapple on to ping for dear life. I'm gonna quickly pull out my rope and hand it to Kaz and be like, "Go down. I got you." Okay, I'll I'll go down. Okay. And then I'll hold on to the top. Is there supposed to be a picture here? Else? Yeah, you don't see the picture. Oh wait, no. no. I see that. I don't. I can just reload. It's blacked out. How much is it? Yeah, you guys should only be able to see like a certain aspect of it. You're doing that. I'm you're, doing right. that you're doing that whole thing again. Uh huh. <laughs> That's good. I like it that way. I don't see any of it. Have we hit the ground or anything yet? Or are we still sliding? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you guys hit the ground. It wasn't like a super far, and it wasn't like a like a ninety degree angle, like straight down. Like it was kind of like a wee, and then you guys slide on your asses into this open tunnel, and it is frigid cold. Thane is face first, face first. end over end, like Blank. face first in the uh, <clears throat> in the snow in front of you. And it's like um, ankle it's like ankle deep snow. 
I'll, I'll grab him, flip him over. <coughs> well, that was fun. Not. <laughs> so much for the breeze. Yes, Every, with this snow okay? down here, I would assume this is where the breeze was coming from. Uh, has Kaz joined us? X marks spot. Kaz literally mm -hmm. just slides in, and you do mm -hmm. like that. You do like that splits mm -hmm. slide in, so you're getting like mm -hmm. snow like halfway up the pants and the crotch, like a little bit area. Hey guys. It's probably pitch black down here because I would imagine. I don't know. Is Thane's torch still? Lit? No. Oh yeah. Well, oh, thank goodness I have dark vision. I have dark vision. I'll I'll do a uh, control flame. Okay. Uh, which is basically a, a fire that's a five foot cube. Yep, so you kind of light up this whole little entryway slash front entrance. And, and I'll just kind of hold it in, in my hand, I guess. I can see. Okay. I can see. So it's, it's double the area of light of a, like a torch fire. Yep, so it's about as far as you're going to see right now. <clears throat> so... Kaz, Ping, and Thane are down there right now. And Freya? Oh, and Freya, sorry. Everybody okay? I'll, I'll just tug on the rope, tell Morn to come slide down. If that's what that means. What if you tug on the rope and he thinks that yeah, yeah, you hit the bottom? <laughs> or quick pull him back up. <laughs> Yeah, I guess, how would you decipher the... That's... The Morn, rope? Never, Morn never said anything, so that's up for Morn to decide what he wants to do. Yeah, when you when you start pulling on it, I'm going to start pulling on it. <laughs> what are you... And I'll just yell when I'm in your shot. Once I'm in your yell. No, I'll just no. disregard the rope, and I'll just start going. Oh, I mean... Maybe. So, oh, hold I mean, on, hold could, on here, hold on. He could pull us all back up. In theory... So, Kaylin, but he doesn't know that. Yeah, but Cain, Kaylin just took off, and he's going down now as Kaz is being pulled back up. Uh, with with a ball of fire in my hand. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> uh, Communication is key. D six. Even. You guys collide. Odds, you barely miss. Ooh, it's two. So as you're pulling them back up, <clears throat> and you're and more, you're pretty strong. So you're just like, oh, you know, pumping. And, you know, you're just like, okay, yep, we're we're going back up the slide. Kalen, you took off, fully armored, Kalen with a shield, and full body armor. Uh, Kalen, how are you holding your shield? <laughs> Play use it as a sled. I was about to say I want to kind of use it as a sled. <laughs> I'm not sure if I actually want to do that though. You know, fuck it, yeah. Slim down. It's too late, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do it. Kalen is getting some momentum. Because <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Kalen? I think you're you're already like 200 some pounds, right? Uh, yeah, like, something like that. Yeah, you're like 200 something with with full armor and a big old shield. Yeah, he cooking. He like a comet coming down that bad boy. <laughs> oh yeah. So. Hi ho, silver. Away. Yeah, it's an understatement. So we're gonna roll. We're just gonna. We're gonna roll. Just right there, like this. Oh. Ooh. Asawi. Asawi. So you guys collide sure and like hit each other really, really, really hard, and you take uh, eight points of damage as you guys just like collide and knock each other end over end. So Morn, make a strength check to see if you can actually hold on to the rope now that they just collided. 
You. <laughs> so not only does Kaz, poor Kaz, <laughs> get just absolutely <laughs> battering rammed, um, and instead of the rope being let go and you sliding back down with Kalen, you are you you now like oh. hangman styled, battering rammed and then pulled back the opposite direction. And you get like that double whammy, like split in half type deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Kalen's probably unfazed. Like, did I hit a bird? <laughs> Kalen, Kalen, like hit him and then hit the wall, and now Kalen's doing like the circular down the tunnel <laughs> on, his little, on his little bobsled. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he, he's singing he's singing the Jamaican like the the cool running song. The bob <laughs> Jamaica, we have a, a bobsled bob team. team. And Kalen's just like you know looping down the whole way. <clears throat> It takes, it, so about the same time, Kaz, you make it to the top, and Kaylin, you make it to the bottom. And not only do you make it to the bottom, uh, make a dexterity uh, saving throw, Freya. Oh, what the fuck? I mean, you're standing right in front of the fucking entrance. Kaylin's coming down hot. <laughs> no control at all. Okay, that was the DC I set. So... All of a sudden, you just hear, Jamaica, we got a bobsled. And no, <laughs> all you, all you I hear probably is, hear metal you hear screaming yeah, down the tube. You hear, <laughs> you're like, what the fuck? And you like turn, and all of a sudden, you just see Kalen, wide eyed, just, and he comes out the like the little entrance and just flies by and hits, and it's all powder snow and it's ankle deep, so you hit it. And it's like that, like uh, like snowmobiles when they hit like the mountains, and you're like, like the whole back end of the shield is like this, and you're just like skipping on snow. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. And you just hear Kalen or er, Thane just nicely done. <clears throat> Kaz, <clears throat> you are fucked up and you hurt a lot. So and you are you're, you're being dragged to the top of this as you come <laughs> up. You just see more and like. You okay? <laughs> but what was the damage? Uh, eight points of damage, I believe. It was. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'll just tell Morn. Yeah, I, I think the the tug was for you to come down. <laughs> oh, we're going down. Are you guys okay? <laughs> yeah, I, I want to untie the rope for me. I was like, let's <laughs> let's go down. <laughs> but can we tie this somewhere up here in case we need to use it to climb back up later? Man, I doubt we're coming back this way, and it could, the rope could be useful. Yeah, I guess so. I'll, I'll leave it up to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna coil it up. Okay. We have climbing. We have climbing gear if we need it. <laughs> That's true. Okay. And then I'm just gonna give him a shove down the down the. <laughs> Slide. Playful shove. Yes. Hard shove. Okay. Yeah. I'll go with it. I'll. Okay. I'll kind of exaggerate the shove and yeah, jump down the slide. <laughs> like, ugh. Then okay. just go. It's fun. You know, it's a nice little slide the whole way down. But now that Kaz and um, Morn, as you guys are going down, you do see a weird groove in the slide now, though. <laughs> 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 and then like halfway down the slide Kaz you realize exactly where it is but you can see where you guys impacted cause like the, the nice little groove that goes down the slide it's like this like giant groove and like you can see where, yeah you can see where it like goes off and then you can see where like you must have hit and like been pulled up alongside Kalen <clears throat> but you guys all make your way down to the bottom and you guys are all down in this little ice cavern. The snow is about ankle deep. Welcome to hell. Uh, Thane, do you know, have you seen this place before? <laughs> no, I've never been anything like this before. This is actually very new for me. That's oh. not the answer we wanted. I apologize. I told you. It can be a little tricky in here and can lead you astray. 
Okay. Well, let's all get our torches lit and uh, see what we can find down here. Well, learn from our mistakes. Let's make our way then. How did snow get down here? It's That's a great question. When we get here, can I throw a fireball down both these hallways and see how much we can see? I guess just what we can see or what's longer. Yeah. I feel like Jim is hiding in Smirk or something right now. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding something. Perception <laughs> check to see what the deal is. <laughs> Guess what? Watch this, watch this, watch this. Not 20. Not 20. I, I just roll them. <laughs> uh, so you step into the hall. You step into this little hallway and you cast Firebolt in both directions. It uh, faintly lights up this right here. And you kind of see like a little, like a little grotto type area. And then. Um, <laughs> fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Right there. And then it, like, you know, goes away again. And then you cast it over here, and it looks like it opens up another little area in here that opens up into a larger section, <clears throat> and then disappears again. So I guess this is the way we should go. Oh, I'm re- yeah, it looks like the only direction to go. Okay. Are you heading that direction? Yes, we are heading that direction. <laughs> there appears to only be three of us, though. The rest of you guys died. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylin's trying to climb back up the, the slide so he can go round two. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'll be back in just a moment. Sharing is caring. (laughs) Dane is just kind of like trudging along in front of you guys, like slowly, just kind of like revealing the area. He's checking out the snow in front of him. Like, he reaches down every once in a while and like picks up a handful brushes it away to see like what's underneath the snow and from what you guys can see it's just pure ice underneath all the snow we're thinking left or right <clears throat> do more of those fire bolts okay I'll do the same thing and throw them down both sides okay so you light up about about that much this Light that up. It looks to be like the end of a, like a little cave, little cavern. Right, it is. Check out what whatever this is over here. I can't quite see. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Neighbors oh, are having a dance party. Uh, and pants, and bo- pants and boots and pants. Careful, that looks like a crevasse. No, it's just like a little. It's just like a little outcropping. <clears throat> it's just like a like stone type deal. You know, south or east? Um, I don't know. I guess east. This looks like it leads somewhere. 
mourn, ducks fly together. <laughs> this isn't another like a uh, ice slide, is it? It's just a tunnel. Um, or, from what you, yeah, from what you can see, the snow just gets a little bit deeper, but it doesn't seem like, you know, anything like out of the norm. Okay. I guess we'll just head that way. Mm, hold on here. Definitely hear it. Okay. Creepy as shit. Does it place from roll twenty? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I heard ice breaking. Do I notice anything strange aside from the fact that we're in a cave and it's icy? Anything, do I notice anything peculiar like man-made or traps? Ooh, a perception check. Actually, I don't even know why I'm trying to whisper this to you. You can relay this to them if you want. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> you're looking around for traps. You're looking, you're just kind of like glancing over the whole scenery. You brush the ice away, or the snow away, and it's really, really deep snow. And you're like kicking it around, and you, you know, you, you, you kick a piece of what you think is ice. <clears throat> And it's not ice. You reach down. That's a finger. You kick away some more snow, ankle deep. And you kind of like you're just kicking around, and you find like um old like rusted swords. Some are bent, some are broken. You find like a shield against the cavern wall a little bit. Um, and because you rolled really high. You're kicking around the snow and you're messing with it and you put your hand against that um, that big ice crystal formation next to you <clears throat> and you're kind of like kicking around and you look up and as you look up you squint and you really really take your time to look at the the ice crystal. And you look really, really hard. And the harder you look, and the more you realize there's a face inside of that ice crystal. Like, like a person's head is in there? Look, like it looks like that? Or like the ice has the shape of a face? like a person is in the ice crystal. So I'm going to immediately just tell everybody to stop. And relay that there is like remains and armor on the ground beneath us and there's a person in the ice. Looks like someone didn't make it out. <clears throat> or many people. 
And there's like armor here. Can why I would try people? To why melt would people the around there? You want to try and melt it? I, yeah, I guess just so we can see better. Like or, the ice crystal that has the head in it or the face in it. Okay, or, yeah. or, or or like the snow around. I don't know. I don't know if you could melt. I mean, you can try. I mean, uh, so if you take the better part of like an hour or two, you you might be able to get like some, like some of it melted away. <clears throat> Do you want to spend that time? Probably not. Okay. From what you can see, if you look really, really hard in in that whole crystal formation, it looks like a person semi-armored. You can't tell male, female. That's just like, like sheer like look of like grim fate on their face, and they're just frozen. So, do we get a sense of is this a person that died, froze in ice, or is this a person that was magically encapsulated in ice and that killed them? You not get the really sure. I would say. Just looking at it, knowing that how people die, they don't typically die with shock on their face. So it might indicate that they they were, like, frozen very quickly. In the crystal. Yeah. What, whether or not that's by magic, I mean, that might be another question, but... Well, would you like me to find out? That would be lovely. All right. I shall cast Detect Magic on the crystal. Okay. <clears throat> you don't detect any magic. Hmm. Somehow this was of natural causes. From what I can gather. Mm. Really cold, really fast. I suppose so. I don't like this. This feels yeah. like a graveyard. It might mean we probably don't want to stay here that long. No. Do we go back? I don't know what that means. I've looked around. I've seen that there's armor and a person in there. Thing keeps walking down the tunnel. Like, just slowly. Ahead of you guys. Uh, whatever we do, we shouldn't stay. We shouldn't stick around here for long. Stay, we yeah. get moving. Well, it's yeah. really cold too, but I'm just worried that we're gonna run into trouble. I think trouble's already found us. Or we're gonna be walking right into it. Well, it will be the first time. <laughs> Things like, well, let's get this fucking over with. <laughs> Yay. I need to put that music on loop somehow. I can't get it to play. I don't know what the deal is. You must have a setting. Uh, where is it? <laughs> uh, Kaz under there, that little gear for settings. There's options in there for music and stuff. So I think audio output source. The only option is none. Why I only pick speaker. Hmm. Oh weird. You know, I have like default, and then some weird letters. Yeah, it just. Well, let me pick anything but none. I'm assuming that's one. Doesn't give me another option. Do 
we do we see people in these crystals too? <clears throat> Make a perception check. People. I see people. Dead people. Yeah. You see several people within these formations. Where's Thane? He's like right in front of Kaelin. Like, uh, so what you guys walked up into is, like, a giant cavern. There's actually ice crystals along the whole ceiling. There's, um... There's, like, all of them around the floor. There's, uh... The snow is about, uh, like, calf high right now. I'll just quickly ask him. Uh, this seems to be some sort of natural phenomenon. Have you heard anything about it? No, unfortunately I have not. This, uh... This seems a little off to me. Hmm, I agree. That's, uh, kind of like a little crevice thing. Morn. I'm gonna notice Morn kind of disappeared and be like... Don't go off by yourself. He gone. Was there anything, Where? like, relating to this in the folklore book that I bought, or that I got? Mm. Or the history book, or any of the two? No. There wouldn't be. Mm. Gotta be a place the snow is coming from. Also could just be ice. That, you know has like ground down over time so given the tunnels I'm not sure how long this has been here yeah I don't know how these tunnels work it's possible the people that came down here tunnel shifted and there was no way out I mean, is there is there any footprints in the snow or anything? Nothing other than yours. These people have probably been trapped in here since the last time the tunnel shifted. Or longer. Or longer. My vote's to go back. At are least we, we yeah, I'm we, worried about moving deeper into are this Are these cave. people dressed in any way? They were in armor. Like, That's what, what worried me, is that they're like, why were there people in armor down here? Like, and then why they, did like, they, why were they frozen? Like, what kind of people are they? Like, what kind of armor are they wearing? Do we know? Like, I mean, they're wearing decent armor. They look like adventurers of some sort. Hmm. Yeah, we didn't look... see, like, any noticeable markings on the armor to indicate, yeah, like, if they were, yeah. like, yeah, guards or anything. Hey, I got an entrance to a structure, I think. Oh. Right about here, you hear Thane kind of make like a like a gasping sash, like sob noise. I'll run over to him. And he's got his hand up against <clears throat> one of the crystals. He's got his head down. Mm. What is it? it is is the that a guide? Of... This is the... One of the parties that was led down here. You notice a, um... Very, very good-looking, uh... Gnome female? Um, and like uh, two humans and a an elven woman actually behind uh, encapsulated in there as well. Uh, this is this is Astra. She was kind of a love interest of mine. Uh, 
she was also a guide of some sorts and uh, she has disappeared about mm, two years ago now and nobody had heard from them the last time she took a venturing party, a party up here and uh, well, that would be why wouldn't it I'm sorry thank you you see him take like a like a pin or a medal from the inside of his jacket and you see him place it on the um on the ground right next to where she's frozen in the ice goodbye Astra and he slowly like walks away towards Kaz even more reason that we should try and get out of here as quickly as possible if they got frozen down here we could too indeed This is like an intentional stone structure. Um, do we notice anything? I mean, is it, does it look safe? Do we notice any, like, again, any traps or anything peculiar? Aside from just a random structure? Make a perception check. Looks good to me. Kaz sees everything. <laughs> um, Looks clear, this, guys. This is actually a homeless shelter where we can camp and stay. <laughs> forever. Forever. Yeah. Uh, Kaz and Kalen, you, you don't really see anything. Uh, it is intentionally placed. Um, and it just seems kind of weird. Morn. As you walk through, the first thing you notice, and you're not really sure what it is, but there's symbols all along <clears throat> the inside of the doorway and the walls and everything inside. The flooring is very intricate, like cut out stones that fit perfectly together. And um, there's a door at the end of the hallway that you notice. I'll be like, thing do these runes mean anything to you? Let me see. Let me see. Hmm. I'm not the greatest, but does anybody here speak Dwarvish? No. This has come up before, and none of us speak it. <laughs> uh, I do, actually. Oh. Hey. Yeah. I don't so, think we had Kaylin with no, us I don't think so when either. we first encountered it. <laughs> Nope. Look at me being the awesome DM that I am finding Kaylin. <laughs> so, what you get, because um, it's not complete dwarvish, uh, as you, you can see, like it's eroded over time, but as you start, you start walking the wall from here all the way down, and kind of like the door's right here. There's no door that you can see right now, but there's a door right there. And it's two large doors, like, you know, like they're like one, like the, the crease is here and the doorway goes the whole way. <clears throat> but it says, here Lars Drogar, the king underneath the mountain. Misses a couple of sentences, bits of words of here and there. Long may he reign the conqueror of the north and the ruler of the mountains skips a couple of things skips a couple of things you get like a couple of words and then it says um beware he who lays and then it skips a couple of things again and you're not able to make out the, la the last bit of it hmm don't. Does that name ring a bell from my skimming of the history book? It does. 
Drogon, or what did I say, Drogon, Drogar. I have two different names. Drogar. 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 Um, Drogar is the um was a a, a, a uh, dwarven king that basically owned the ever the ever. Man, I am like brain farting hard right now. The uh, Evercrest Mountains. Evercrest Mountains. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> he was the ruler of the Dwarven Kingdom that uh, lived basically under this this mountain, this these mountain ranges. Um, he's the one that built all the different settlements on the outer portions of the Evercrest Mountains and basically established uh, a kingdom here. Um, it talks about his, uh, you know, his, his love for playing games on human folk and the elven folk, uh, that, that's why the tunnels shift, because the only ways they don't shift is if a dwarf is with you, um, because it causes it to be like a, like a true, like a, like a needle, basically, and if there's nothing that it senses of dwarven, basically, they shift, kind of like a maze to fuck with people. Um, and then, and then the, the history gets kind of hazy because nobody really knows too much about their, about them. But it, there, there are other books that you could find about the, the civilization. Mm -hmm. This uh, seems to be the tomb of a ancient dwarven king, and judging by what I've read. Uh, It'd be in our best interests not to disturb his resting place. Dwarf's got to die here somehow. Yeah, there has to be a way out, unless the way that we came in was the way out. Hmm. Right, are there any other doors? Go back. Room here. Not no, not inside of the room that you're in right now. Just the two Just giant, the, the two giant brass doors in front of you right now. And there's underneath the door, you can see a small dim light. I'm gonna try and open the door. I think we should go back. Make a strength check. I'm gonna stand over here. You shove and you shove and it just slightly, slightly moves. But is there any crack I can put my great axe in? Mm, yeah, you could probably get your great axe in. Do, do we really want to axe the door though? Uh, I'm trying to wedge it open. Do we really want to force it open if it doesn't want to be open no more? Maybe we it's should leave it closed. From what you're getting, more, and it's just really fucking heavy. It's frozen, right? Yeah. My guess is this is how the dwarves got down here. Could be an exit. Or it could be a dead end. I mean, we haven't seen the body, so <clears throat> I think assume that like the sarcophagus is through the door. You're right. Yes, and the exact words were "Beware of those who lay." So um, take that as you will. I do think we should go back. I don't. I've never liked this path. The door is cracked slightly, and you can see Thane peeking in. Thane, I think we should find another way out. Shh, don't you see it? Look in there. Look! 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 Thane, I think that we should go back the other way. Yes, I understand that, but there's gold. There's, there's. I don't give a shit about gold. I I'm thought gonna, you have I'm all gonna, the money in the world. I'm gonna come up and put both my arms underneath his armpit, and just grab him, and then attempt to carry him back. Okay. You have a fucking butler, bro. <laughs> yeah. You have you have plenty of money. Yes, but don't you, just a peek. Can we just peek in there, please? I won't resist. I'm letting you hold me, please. Can we just peek? We won't go in. I just want to peek. I'm gonna I'm gonna drag him as far as I can. Have you ever heard the term "curiosity killed the cat"? Yes. yes. And that I don't is think the it's... reason that I'm very very wealthy is I like to look at stuff. Can we please? Peek this is and not. I will follow you. This is not a situation where we should be curious. Yes, we shouldn't disturb a dead man's riches. We won't disturb them. I just want to look. 
You can you hold did my look. hands. You can hold my fucking hands while we do it. You did look. No, I did not. I want to stick my fucking head in there. But we don't we we don't want to open that door. I feel like if we open that door. Are you guys is that exactly where you guys are right now? I am holding you him. Look at Astral. Your friend. I, pr I pretty much have him grappled right here. Yeah. So Where's Ping? Yeah, I'm just trying to Ping, where are you on the map? He's, he hasn't been on the map. Sorry, I've been- I got cut out. My internet been fucking up. No, it's okay. Where would you be standing? Do, um, are you able to see roll 20? Yeah, I'm back on here. Okay. Where would you be standing? I guess I'll just stand right here. Right on Freya. No, right there. <laughs> I mean, this is the door, right? Yeah. The door's right here. That's just like an entrance. It's like a little walkway. And you can see, like, deep under the ice, you can see where it actually runs underneath underneath all this snow and ice. But for some reason, like, right here, there's no snow and ice. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Don't, aren't you even curious what's in there? I mean, no. That might, that might be the door that we can leave in. Because I didn't see any other doors coming in. We can't go back up the, the slide. The, 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 the route's probably shifted. We didn't see what was past the slide. And we didn't go south either. And this is probably a tomb. So I want to go back up the slide and take a different... I don't like the snow. It's not right. It shouldn't be snowed on here. And all these dead people. Kind of a sign. I don't think we need to see what's in there. It's just gonna be a dead person and their riches. And we shouldn't disturb it. Kaylin, what's that your trap. passive perception again? 17. 17? And the door is cracked. You just hear light breathing. Light yeah. breathing? Very like, distinctly, I can tell that it's breathing. Very, very, just like, I don't know, very, 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 very slight. You're not sure, but you can hear, you possibly hear slight breathing. And then you see, you kind of do see, like, you, through the doorway, you do see, like, like, brazers or something lit in there. I'll turn towards the group. We need to go now. I hear breathing inside that place. Yeah, okay, at that point, I'm going to attempt to throw a Thane over my shoulder. Okay. Kind of like firemen hold him. He is going to resist. Yep. So, roll to grapple. Is it athletics? I believe so. I think it's athletics versus his athletics. Yeah, yeah you beat it. You just look, like you have him up over your shoulder, and he's like trying to struggle away, but he's just like not really fighting you, kind of fighting you type deal. He's just more like pissed that he's been picked up. <laughs> yeah, we're going. Oh, and yeah. seeing the urgency, I'm going to cast Water Walk so we can tread freely on top of this snow. Okay. Without trudging through it. I don't know if that's gonna work per se with this. That's actual. That, I think it's just for water, and it's just, this is just snow. It yeah, mentions snow, snow in the description. Does oh, does it really? Oh, I I didn't even scroll down all the way. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna cast pass without a trace. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I believe that gives everybody plus 10 on stealth rolls. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to roll stealth. Okay. Yeah, I guess we should all... Might as well, since we have the benefit. So... 
Chad's got a 16. 29, 30, 16, 30. Is Thane being cooperative? Yeah, he's kind of just, he's just pissed he's been picked up, but he's, yeah, he's, he's calm. I'm going to attempt to set him down. Yeah, he rolled once a 15 on stealth. Once we get to here, I'm going to set him down. Okay. Yes, 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 I'm not fighting you. I just was curious. I wasn't going to go in. I'm not stupid. Wasn't taking any chance. For all we know, those these adventurers might have got frozen doing the same thing that you were about to do. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna blitz back toward that tunnel as to the slide as fast as I can. Okay. That's kind of where we're headed, so we can. We'll just say I'll just open it up like that because you guys are heading back here. So, the slide is gone. God damn it. It's literally just a, um, a solid wall right now. And you can kind of see when you're standing there, Morn, you can kind of see where the stone shifted because the snow... Y you know, like when you when you drag your shoe through snow, it kind of looks like that. Like disrupted. Yep. Can I see the shield tracks in the snow past where the walls moved? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you would be able to. I'm gonna attempt to like. Hmm. What's at the edge of the walls? Does it look like these walls, like, is it clear that they're moving? Like, like, does it look, it doesn't look natural, right? Like, this looks like a sliding wall? Uh, no, it looks like, like, like rock. Like, as far as you can tell, it looks like natural rock. And you're just, you're just dumbfounded and confused as, like, how the hell is the rock is shifting and moving itself. We're not going this way. Guess not. Find another way. Maybe another way's opened up. Possibly. We may have to go th through the door. We should probably check to see if there's another way first. Yeah. Is this just a wall at the top here? I'll go yes. this. Yep. It, it looks like that, basically. Yeah. Yep. And that was a drop off cliff there, Kaz. <laughs> so that's a, that's a little ravine. So, uh, uh, we'll say in the dark you saw it coming. Um, and like, yeah, and I. To it. It, it's like, it's like, it's only like a 15 foot drop, but it, it's, it's a, it's a little drop. Okay, I guess we'll walk back here. Is there anything down this direction? Yeah, we never went this way. Oh, never mind. And this this isn't like door? Nope, that's just solid wall. Well Thane looks like he might be in luck. Mm -hmm. I kinda can, like this. We still open the door and the rest of us hide. We should have used detect magic on that wall back at the where the slide was. Thane could be deceiving us. Oh, I hear fucking breathing. You guys hear that in the music? That's creepy as shit. <laughs> it's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like we might have no other choice. I'll put my great axe back where it was before. Okay. I want to attempt to wedge the door open. I want to take a hide action in this corner. Only okay. does that. Okay, so you're you're wedging the door open. Yeah. Pass without a trace is still um active. Yep, and I'm taking all your stealth rolls from before. 
Do, do I do another one if I do hide? Uh, yeah, you can. If you're gonna hide again, yeah. I do not go through doors first anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, this time, the door has been... Like, the ice has kind of been uh, in the cracks. It's been wedged free. And it's got a little more give to it this time. So it doesn't take you much this time, Morn. And you're able to get the door to open. It doesn't make a sound. It actually very fluidly moves. It just seemed like the ice was kind of holding it in place. Um, okay. I'm going to go and grab the torch from Thane. <laughs> Can I attempt to take and it? There's there is like dim torch light on the opposite oh, side. Oh, there is? So I can see in here. Barely. You okay. can't see in the hallway, but somebody with dark vision might be able to see. I'm still going to step forward. I'm going to okay. come forward. If, if it's not pitch black, I'm going to walk forward. Oh, shit. Oh, that's gold, not lava. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're rich. Where would be we be? Where's the door? Right, right at the bottom? Here. Dude, get the fuck out. <laughs> oh, shit. That was an incredible. Yeah, I mean, you should probably go wipe, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> you guys slowly make your way through these giant brass doors, like huge brass doors. Uh... Probably like, I'd say probably like 30 feet tall and like th like 35 feet wide. Like just giant fucking doors. And you step through and there's brazers that lit and they, they're, they're not, Kaz you would recognize it right off the bat. They're not wood burning brazers. They're magical. And they're just kind of a dim light. And now you've walked in, and it's more prominent now. The the two of you that have heard it before standing at the doorway, but you do hear. It's a snoring dragon. <sighs> Smog. Probably a white dragon. Fuck this, guys. I didn't come here to fight a dragon. Came here to ride a dragon. Yeah, I want to raise a dragon. So, who here has dark vision? I do. I have dark vision! So you do. I do. Thane does. And Kaz. So, what you guys see... Nobody else sees, since I'll reveal it to just you guys. <clears throat> you guys get in really quiet, and everybody's kind of waving their torches around, trying to, like, see in the vicinity area. Nobody said anything yet, but you guys do see, like, large amounts of coins. But, grayed out to you three, and Freya and Kaz, you guys notice Thane for a tiefling. A very dark colored tiefling goes stark white and you guys notice at first as he just kind of like he walks in and you see him very calmly and very excitedly looking at all of the money and he just stops and just goes pale white if a pale if a blue tiefling could go pale white and his mouth drops open and he immediately no like doesn't even say anything like douses the torch in his hand and like tucks it into his coat. At that moment, you two seeing this look exactly where his eyes are and you see in the distance a large adult white dragon or young white dragon sleeping 
on the top of mounds and mounds of coin and platinum and gold and jewels and armor and it is snoring I'll do uh, control flame the other people if anyone else has a to snuff it out okay Kudiga. so Morn, Ping, and Kaelin, all of a sudden your torches are extinguished. And you guys are having a hard time seeing. And you're kind of confused as you look over to Kaz. I'm going to just very quietly go shh. shh. I'm going to start slowly and you guys all hear the shifting of coin and the moving and deep heavy inhale and are, the shifting of coin some more are, are there any other creatures in here other than the dragon can I see, I can see? make a perception check uh, it's going to be yeah it's going to be a high DC because it's kind of hard to see in here um, from what you can tell, you don't see anything else in there. What the best? What best you can make out is a large gray white for with dark vision. Because I think everything in dark vision is in gray. Um, you see a large white creature, grayish white creature, fifty-five, sixty feet from you on top of this giant mound of, of treasure and it's thrown behind it and that's it. And when I say like mounds of treasure, I mean like it is all over the floor. Morn is like a centimeter from stepping on like a handful of coins. That's how far up the stairs it comes. Is there any ways in or out besides this one? As far as you're, t as far as you can tell, no, just the one entrance you guys came in. I'm gonna reach forward and quietly, slowly grab the back of Morn and Kaylin's armor and kind of slightly pull them backwards towards the door. You're gonna have to take like four or five steps forward to get to Morn. So it looks like Morn took a step, like took steps up. Unless that you just placed him there, but no, that Morn... is where my character is. Okay, so the top Morn of the like, Yeah, he took like a couple steps in. Well, I'm assuming he can't see, so I would take no, a step but, forward yeah. then. I would take oh. a step forward then. Okay. Because they don't know what's going on, or if, as far as I know, they don't know what's going on, or as what far as see. Morn and Kaylin can see right now. Uh. Morn, you're like, you could literally bend over and take your hand and go like this on the top of the stairs and you would probably get a handful of platinum. That's how close all of the treasure is to you right now. Okay, so now that I test step forward, okay. I'm grabbing the back of Morn's armor, grabbing Kaelin, and really quietly, slowly tugging backwards while saying, Shh. There is a sleeping dragon in this room that we need to not wake up. And it's like, as, as you guys are like, kind of like, slowly under your breath talking, the coldest, like, blast of like icy breath just like like the room just drops like 40 degrees like instantly more quickly pulling them backwards and get out the door oh yeah I'll abide and very slowly and quietly step back
I, I want to be as stealthy as I can, but I want to go down these stairs this way and do like a perimeter check for for other doors that may be an exit. Okay. Go ahead. So just whatever I can see. I, I don't know if I should re-roll stealth or keep what I rolled. Not yet. Okay. Is it safe to say that I got Kaylin and Morn out the door? I would say yeah, you have. And I'm I'm going to tell Freya that I'm going to help. I'm going to see if we another door. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna. I was planning on helping, but I wanted because they can't see. Yeah. I didn't want them to be in. Um, on that side, Kaz, all you see is intricate stone buildings. Um, there's actually more seats over there. It almost looks like uh, either guard seats or uh, some kind of like noble seats that they would sit in there during some kind of like adjudication type thing. Um, but it's just it's one it's like one continuously like gorgeous brick wall. And there's like rubies on the floor and uh like gold and platinum that kinda come up to like right at the edge of the, the drop off there. And then no doors along the wall. I mean along the edge here. Where? And I mean, I mean as far as I can see. Oh, as far as you can see, yeah, I mean, uh, you're going to be able to see probably, whoops, reveal area. Uh, you're probably going to be able to see out to about right here-ish. Come on. While you're doing that, I would have whispered to, after I got everybody out the door, and I would have... Down the way, um, you don't see any doors. You just see mountains and mountains and mountains of, of gold and and like jewels and yeah after getting everybody out the door I would have whispered that it'd be safer to stay out here because it's there's a dragon in there and there's a lot of things that could make noise and then I'm going to help Kaz because I can see a little better in the dark be careful So I'm going to come the opposite direction that Kaz went. Okay. Yeah, and I'll, I'll just keep heading down this way. Okay. Oh, okay, so you're going to jump off the ledge? Well, I mean, is it how far how far of a jump is it? It's like five feet. Yeah. Okay. So now you're going to have to roll stealth because you are climbing on coins and... And jewels and he yeah. still has pass without a trace. Yes, thirty one. Uh, Man, that's... Uh, actually no, we went out of range. I was gonna say how never far mind. Is he? Never mind. That's still that's, still, still that's a damn good roll. Yeah, d twenty. Yeah. So 20. how long is pass without trace? How long does it go? It goes for a while, but you it's it only goes for an certain, hour, but it's but only it's... certain feet away. Yeah, like thirty feet. Wait, you cast it on a creature within 30 feet and then they have it for an hour, right? No, it's everybody, once, yeah, everybody within away. my radius. Hold on, let me look at it really quick. Uh, da, 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 companions. For the duration, each creature you choose within 30 feet of you has a bonus to dexterity rolled. So yeah, it, it sounds like... So so to me, that's... Uh, sounds cast- like... You cast it on anyone within 30 feet, and then they have it for an hour. That's what I think it means, too. So Kaz would still have it. I mean, either way, he rolled really high, but... Yeah, so what did it say again? It says you you cast it on any creature within 30 feet. It specifically says, A veil of shadows and silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. For the duration, each creature you choose within 30 feet of you including you, has a plus 10 bonus to dexterity or stealth checks and can't be tra- can't be tracked except by magical means. Yeah, I would say you still have it. Because how long, how long did you say it last again? One hour. Yeah, you still got it. Yeah. 
So, 31. So, very stealthily, you manage to jump down and climb across the treasure. Um, choosing your footing very, very, very carefully to not disturb um, any of the coins so that they fall down the, the hills and like this little mountain of treasure. Um, you uh, once you actually almost step on a shield and slide down, but you manage to catch it and kind of place it back right where it was and put it exactly where it was. So, and I'll, I'll just keep scaling as far as you go. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay. Do I see anything on my side? So, I mean, I don't want to bump into a dragon or anything, but <laughs> you know, so. Two things. One, you don't see anything for like a doorway over there, but you do see more of the throne, and you do see these large, like like sixty foot dwarven uh, people with um, they're they're holding their swords in front of them, like two very ornate looking um, statues in the background. I do. Uh, Kaz does. Oh. Second thing. Off to your left, right about here, you see a a staff placed into the coins that is looks almost like a withered branch that coils up and comes to a point. Whoop! Shit! And comes to a point holding some kind of crystal. Almost like a hand. Holding a what? Holding like a crystal, like a hand. So it's like a branch that comes up, like a withered looking branch that comes up and has like a bunch of like, like almost like fingers holding a crystal. I, I wouldn't know what that is. Nope. I grab it. <laughs> Make a sleight of hand to see if you can't pull it from the coins stealthily. Nice. Damn, sir. Good rolls. You, noticing all the platinum and all the gold and the shields and the gold studded shields and everything else like that, the um the this one particular item sticks out more than the rest. And something in the back of your mind goes I have to have that and you reach out and slowly pull it from the gold coins and the platinum it shifts a little bit and you hear the snoring get like really loud and stop for a second and then really loud and you're like kind of scared <laughs> but you're like I want it really bad and you get it out and you're now holding the staff Mm -hmm. When I when I hold it, do I get a better sense of what it is or not? Or no? Nope. Okay. Oh shit! I just like fucked up the whole board. I know. And Frey is coming up this way. Yeah, I was waiting for it to come over to me. start to light up just a little bit and you hear rustling of the dragon you hear movement as it sounds you can hear the the, the coin and the shields and the like, swords kind of snapping beneath it as it shifts its weight and you can like it sits up and kind of moves onto its side 
Kaz and Freya, because of your dark vision, you do see it moving. And it has gone from laying prone to a side kind of mouth, and it has its hands up, and it's uncoiled its head, and it started to bring it out and forward. And it, and it spoke? Yeah. I'm glad you react to that. I, I, I want to. I want to respond. <laughs> and Who says it's reasonable? <laughs> I, I, I want to respond and, and and tell him that we didn't mean to. That we were just lost, and that we're sorry. But I I want to say it in dr draconic. Okay. And I'm hoping that that. That will be more effective that way. Can I roll an animal handing, handling check? <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna fucking work on a dragon. <laughs> it was a joke. Okay. Takes out saddle. <laughs> I, gotta feel, I gotta feel for this now. So, you're going to speak up and talk to it in Jaconic? Mm hmm. Okay, and what are you what are you saying? What again? I'm. I'm Telling him that we didn't mean to disturb him. We're just lost and that we're sorry. When you say this, <clears throat> you hear like a low, like guttural, like laugh. <clears throat> oh, nice of prey to come to my home. Feed me. I'll throw a fireball at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! No, oh, Jesus! Yes, no. Okay. No. No. <laughs> Roll to it. Yes, no. <laughs> um. It was fun playing with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he. He actually does a, a deck save. Okay. Okay. He he or she. That is a eighteen natural. <laughs> Fuck man. Well. Okay. Six plus. Oh shit. Sorry, misclicked. Huh? Damn it, I was totally hoping to end this here. Before this oh, yeah, I'm, crazy. About, I'm about to pass out, so... Yep. Half. Half, half so, that. So, so half of 30, so 15 plus 4, 19. Okay. If, if, if we want to stop and say that's a surprise round and do, and do initiative and pick it up next so, time. Yep, so as you do this, you light the fireball. So Freya, from what you see, the opposite side is all like you, you hear Kaz speak up and then the dragon, in, which you don't understand. I do actually. I, I just uh, okay, so actually you and actually I think he's, he might even be speaking now he's speaking in <coughs> he says that how nice of it is that prey has made its way into his, his his home and immediately you see Kaz light the fireball and toss it Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> 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 and it rears up and <laughs> and the wings span out and it just starts kicking up wind and that's where we're going to end tonight <laughs> oh shit oh. Well, he was, okay he was gonna eat us <laughs> it's gonna fucking eat us and Thane's gonna leave her ass in the dust 
<laughs> yeah, you guys haven't checked on Thane. Do you know where Thane is? No, he's not. He saw all the gold. Yeah, Thane fucking took something. This is all his fucking fault. Thane took gold out the room, and then the dragons, like, noticed the gold was missing. Woke up. Enchanted treasure hoard, you know? I only have two hands. I mean, to be fair, you guys are smelly humans, peoples, in, in the domain, so I was counting to, you know, 50, and then rolling every time, so. Uh, we're, like, kind of crawling around on stuff. Quietly, but we're still. Should have taken that rope up the slide. You took the rope off of the slide, though, so we would have had a hard time getting up anyway. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What? You guys just fucked with a adult white dragon. <laughs> I'm we're safe behind the door. I mean, we didn't have. <laughs> we didn't have a choice. We Morn didn't have Ping, a choice. Morn, Ping, and Kaylin are on the other side of the door closing and going, well, <laughs> Have a nice life, guys. No, but it's like we didn't have another choice. We didn't have another way out. That we knew of. Mm. Did, did you explore all of the last place? Well, we fell. And we explored around the area we fell into. We could have gone down the crevice. What what crevice? The one that was in the middle of the map. I think you walked up to it. I walked up to it. Either I, way, I, think I went through it on our way back down to the bottom. Yeah. Oh, you fucked with an adult white dragon. I mean, we. To be fair, we didn't. We were trying to not fuck with. <laughs> Motherfucker, Kaz, is, Kaz is, is trying that? to reason with a dragon. Please, we're lost. Let us go. <laughs> we're sorry. Double move to the door as fast as possible. Why did Brent. this thing have to be adult? This thing has legendary resistances. Shit. I could have taken care of it if it was young. Eh, uh, maybe. Yeah, if it was yeah. young, probably. probably. Are we talking like one-shots? Is this thing in a one-shot? Uh... My friends and I sat down to do a campaign, and the first thing we fought was a dragon, and we wiped, and that was the Tentara campaign. <laughs> and it ended just like that. <laughs> no, no, I think what? I don't want this to be over. Yeah, this thing is like 10 levels above our CR. We're fucked. <sighs> no. Kaz, when we come back, you just fucking run, okay? You just tuck tail and head for the door. Kaz is Full looking speed. through like, all his spells like, okay, fuck, fuck. Yeah, use your teleportation rune. And I, can, I, can GTFO. Totally, I can totally take him. <laughs> worried about it. Nom, 34. Nom, 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 That's nom, probably nom, gonna tickle his nose. <laughs> like 34 HP. <laughs> I mean, that's 34 half. Oh god. Mm -hmm. I doubt it has much more than 7 HP. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. Can oh. we can take it. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. So, so Ping, get up in here and do some close combat. So, so we, we didn't ask after the fireball hit. How's he look? Is he pretty fucked up? <laughs> he, does he look pretty hurt? Does he look pretty hurt? Is he pretty bloody? It turned over and, and giggled back because it felt good. This is, this is all a dream. <laughs> Do we still have the saddles from the horse? Yeah, I think, I think I think I think that's like we're beyond that. I I've lost my interest in riding the dragon right now. <laughs> <laughs> Animal handling. Do I not? Do, do I don't? Any of us out the door? We we can't see Thane. Do you, want, do you want to do like a quick perception check? Oh, I from thought we were from the doorway. Whoever's yeah. in the doorway, if you want to make one quick perception check, I'll tell you what you see before we. Might as well out. see if we he scurried off somewhere. Okay, Thane and Morm, you don't see anything. Kalen, you see Thane in a dead fucking sprint. 
<laughs> yeah. Like, like he said, like he said, if shit, if shit hits the wall and we're in a death situation, he's fucking taken off. Yeah. Yep. You can pretty much guarantee that the moment he heard the roar, it was it was it was game on. He was he was probably already like at the run the moment that thing woke up and started talking. He probably was shitting bricks. Yeah, I say, guys, just grab as much treasure as you can and bolt toward the door. I have the treasure. I want to live. I want to live. You better invoke that staff, and that staff better do something. <laughs> you better attune to that shit that quick. You know that you have to take a short rest. I know, I know. We'll do it real quick. Yeah, real quick, 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 quick. <laughs> While we're waiting for him to flap his wings. <laughs> Another reminder. You guys do have items that I did give you. Yes. And I was just looking for my arrows. At all. I'm pretty sure you guys can all crawl up Freya's ass because she's the one that's hoarding all of it. No, I'm not. Mm. Okay, so you have the you have the cat the nine lives cat one, don't you? Yeah, I'm not using that. Okay, I understand that. So you have the Montebank one, right? That's the one I'm using. Okay. Yeah, that's the Yeah, you know what that one does. That'd have, have to... really, been really good. For and I was just Kaz looking at the now. arrows. Nobody else is going to use the arrows. No, no. You have the rod that can't be moved. Mm -hmm. I don't have that. Who has that? I thought you had that. No, I didn't take that. Oh, is it still back in that cave? We might have just I left. had the arrows, the... I've gotten the, the two cloaks, and then... Yeah, and I was actually just looking at the arrows. I can't even remember what they were called. They're like pinion or something. 